Hello, my name is Kindach, also known as Kin, and tonight I'm going to be playing some Pathfinder Kingmaker for the first time. Uh, so I've owned both this game and the first Pathfinder for a while and literally never played them. Um, I don't know why. Actually, is this fitting the screen properly? It doesn't look like it. Hold on. Give me one second. Mm, maybe it is. Mm, all right. It is. All right. I don't know what I was looking at. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so about this game, it is basically in the style of old CRPGs, I, which, to be honest, I don't remember what C means, but uh, references there would be like Baldur's Gate. Icewind Dale, um, Temple of Elemental Evil, uh, n I mean, kind of Neverwinter Nights, although that's a lit, that's slightly closer to modern RPGs than those other ones. Um, in terms of modern comparisons, Pillars of Eternity would probably be the best comparison, which sounds funny because you would think Baldur's Gate Three would be the best comparison, but it's actually not. Which kind of gets into what I'm not a huge fan of about Baldur's Gate 3, but I'll save that rant until I until Baldur's Gate 3 officially releases and I play that on stream. Because I can uh, that I can talk a lot about. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be... I, I assume it is going to be using uh, Pathfinder rules, probably Pathfinder 1 rules. Uh, old Baldur's Gate game, that uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, uh, the second one being titled Shadows of Arm, used Dungeons & Dragons 2.0 rules, I think? So yeah, I assume this is probably going to be very similar in terms of that. But I don't know Pathfinder rules, like, at all. However, I do know that it's based off of Dungeons & Dragons 3.5, and I did play Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 a decent amount, so I should be able to pick stuff up. There is one thing I did wait to say, uh, save changing my settings. I, I changed most of my settings, but um, there was, well, other than that, other than what I just changed, let me double check and make sure there's nothing else. AI doesn't use expendable spells. Okay, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. <clears throat> All right, so this is my favorite part of CRPGs. Of old style, I should say. Not Divinity or Dungeons and Dragons, but whatnot. Basically, the game is real time with pause. It's actually it's a category kind of of RPG called real time with pause. Where the game plays out in real time, but on the back end, it has turns. Um, and you can pause the game at any time functionally. Uh, you can set it to auto pause, which is super important because, like, you can have it auto pause. I mean, some of the most relevant ones, let's see. Pause when a trap is detected, 100%. Um, pause when a hidden object is detected. Hmm. I'll turn that on for now. Pause on combat start, yes, 100%. Uh, pause each round when all party members' turns are over. So yeah, you can basically literally play this as a turn-based game if you want to. However, I, I'm not going to do that. Pause when a party member uses an ability. Uh, pa no. Pause when spell casting is finished, though, 100%. Um, so the point of doing that is... Oh, you can't even see it behind me. Uh, but yeah, I enabled that part. Um, basically, if I'm micromanaging my mages, I can have them immediately start casting a new thing after uh, they finish casting. Because casting can usually take multiple rounds. Pause in effect condition or summon ends. Pause when ally is down. Uh, pause when a party member has low HP is interesting. Pause when an enemy is down. Pause when a new enemy appears. That's probably correct. Um, pause when an enemy is spotted. Yes, 100%. Oh, uh, helps to get the drop on enemies. Pause when a weapon is ineffective. Mm, I don't know if that means like it, it can't be used to damage it at all, or if it's just like doing half damage or whatnot. Pause when ally is unconscious or dead. How is that different than ally is down? I'm not sure I understand. Pause when the party is attacked. I'm also not sure how this is different from combat. Um, pause when an enemy is down. 
I'll turn that on for now. I might need to turn that off. But we'll see. That way I can, like, if I have my allies focusing on enemies, I can immediately change them over to another enemy. <clears throat> um, pause and ally is down. I don't, I don't, actually don't think I need that. Class specific outfits for the party. So their actual equipment. No, drop, drop, she, drop me Shrifty's shirt for a companions. I don't know what that sentence means, but okay. Feed critters ability. Interesting. Critters instead of blood. Random critters will occasionally appear instead of bloods better. Uh, okay. Turn-based combat mode. No. Oh, so you can literally just enable turn-based combat mode. You don't have to do it manually through the, the pausing stuff. Auto end turn. Yes, auto interrupt movement. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Move the camera to the acting character. Lock the camera. The move. That, okay, that's improper English. Mmm, I don't know what those do. Always display companions HP, no, no. Choke combat. Uh that one may have to turn off at a later point too. But alright. For now I think this should be good. I almost hit default and that would have made me sad. Alright. We as developers are sure uh no. I like how it says, by clicking accept, you confirm that you have read it and agree to our terms of use. Uh, okay, so, I mean, you're going to see here, I'm not clicking accept. I have not clicked accept. I've clicked okay. Very different. Um. Okay. Those are DLC, I understand. Next. Whoa, this is fancy. The damage you suffer from enemies and traps to do, uh, wait, why is normal reducing stuff? That's weird. Your character will not die after suffering a deadly injury for the first time. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. This is technically easier than old CRPGs. Slightly. The death door condition is new. However, it might I hmm. That's a difficult choice, if I'm being honest. Cause it was uh, like the, the fact that the enemies died immediately upon reaching zero HP kind of resulted in a lot of reloads. It saves and reloads back then. I kind of like this as a solution. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with normal. Death door, dead companions rise after combat. Ah, I see. That's like, that's easy, I assume. Oh. Never mind, that's sto story, is that? That makes sense. Moonlight, moonlight effects on rest? No, yep. Auto level up, no. Any stat adjustments, somewhat easier. Okay, fine. I'll trust I'll trust it on that. The party's speed depends on the weight you're carrying. I encumbrance effect is awful. No. Enable character retrain. What does that mean? I meh. Only active companions receive experience. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. It's basically uh, XP share, except for the fact that it's across like all your compa all, all companions in the game. Last Ezlanti mode. Only one save slot is available in this mode. The game saves automatically in key points and not what? Okay. I don't know what that means. Immersive mode. Uh, nah. Only skill user receives skill check experience. Uh, okay. Let's just continue. Select the character. Create a character or one of each class. How ballsy am I feeling? Let's go ahead and create a character. I'll probably create a rogue. I don't know what the... 
The problem, part of the problem is I don't know what the starting companions are. And one of them might already be a rogue. I should, I should probably research that. Uh, okay. Pathfinder, Kingmaker, companion, starting companions. Let's see. Um... This is unclear. Okay, hold on. Actually, it, okay, it's dependent on my starting alignment. Interesting. A mirror, a mural, Amira, Miri. Let's see. Um. Who is a Miri? What is she? Amiri is a barbarian. So you're guaranteed a barbarian, and your other ones, which none of them are rogues, are dependent on your alignment. So I am good to make a rogue. Let's see. Do any of these scream? I also don't even know what uh, race I'm going to go with. I don't even know what race are options. I'm ju also just assuming Pathfinder is not, or a rogue is an option. Vampire. I assume I cannot create a vampire, but maybe I can become vampiric at some point. Hmm. Do they not let you upload a portrait? That's weird. Um. First time trying Kingmaker? Yes. Hello, that cad. That cad muse guy? First time playing a Pathfinder game. Although I have played CRPGs in the past. Which is kind of why I'm surprised it doesn't let me upload a character portrait, since you could do that in Baldur's Gate. Um, so with this. Okay, so where is class? Or does it requires me to select race before I select ca class? Cadmus? Okay. Kingmaker is a good one for sure. Yeah, I've heard it's pretty decent. Uh, my only ex my only modern experience with a CRPG would be Pillars of Eternity. I think I've only played the first one. Uh, hold on, let me go to class real quick. Alright, so Rogue is an option. There's a lot of options. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, Baldur's, Baldur's Gate was kind of like this. As well. Oh god, they even have the subclass thing too. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me read over Rogue again. Uh... Is unclear. Alright, let's just go back to race for now. Those of Eternity, one of your favorites? I did, I got, I think, five hours into it or so. I don't know, I don't remember why I ended up quitting. It might be, because I don't really, I might not have the patience for these kinds of games anymore. To be fair, I, I, it took me a while, it took me a few tries to get through Baldur's Gate. Uh, Baldur's Gate 2. I mean, Halfling is, is pretty stereotypical rogue. Asimar. Um, Half Elf. Elf. Let's not get pluses to ability scores? Okay, they do get these pluses to ability scores. At creation, the character gets a plus two. Okay, I see. Keen senses. I'm interested. I might go half elf rogue. I mean, a character portrait is an elf. That's only fitting. Alright. Oh, okay. I see. You zoom in on this. You cannot zoom in on this. Main hand, right hand versus left hand. I like how the cloak does not get wider or shorter as your character's body gets wider or shorter, or wider or thinner. Uh, 
I feel like that kind of fits the most. I'm surprised there's not more of a, like a, uh, kind of like a tan skin tone. What are these? I think these are clothing colors. Yes, they are. I'm surprised it doesn't let me go like, oh, well, I guess I could go pink. So it does let me go bright colors. It's not going quite that dark. There we go. Hairstyle. Uh, well, I can't rightly see my hairstyle because I have a cloak on. Uh, I do not see a way of turning it off either. So I guess I'm just going to have to guess. <laughs> what color is the hair portrait? Brown? Mm, it has a higher forehead in the um, picture. Sure, let's go with that. Alright. Oh, okay. I do not edit that here, which makes sense. I edit that. Wait, hold on. Go back to class. All right, trying to figure out what the fuck I want to do. What are the options here? I see these are um, so these spontaneously cast arcane spells level for soul spell. These are kind of uh, prestige classes, and then these are specialist classes. So rogue is the general, like the general one of these. Like each of these have a general. And they have three specialist classes, which is also uh, very likely heavily inspired by Baldur's Gate in those games, because that was like <laughs> Baldur's Gate had like four, three to four specialty classes per class, uh, like ten base classes. There's also more races in Baldur's Gate too. So Rogue, uh, Eldritch Scoundrel. I can read through the abilities gained here. Uh, evasion, rogue talent, finesse training, danger sense, uncanny dodge. Let's get Eldritch Scoundrel. I'm tempted to go Eldritch. Eldritch. I can say that word. I swear. Eldritch Scoundrel. Um, spells. One first level spell. Where do I gain my four spells? They do get sneak attack. Mm. If I click here, no, okay, that does not work. I'm not sure where I get more spells. Mm, okay. Arcane cast knife master. Sneak stab. Mm, so is this just a dagger focused mm, rogue? Kind of looks like it. Well, not necessarily dagger. Kukri. Uh, wait, what other options? Daggers, kukris, punching daggers, star knives, or sai. I like kukris. I don't. I. I feel like it's weird. Like exotic weapons like that have always been unbalanced, in the bad way. In Dungeons Dragons, so I'm gonna assume it's still unbalanced in here. In terms of like a kukri is probably worse than like a dagger or something. Dungeons and Dragons Online did a pretty decent job of attempting to balance those. Uh. Okay. I see. I'm tempted to go Knife Master. Thug. Frightening. Uh, Thug on the other hand cares nothing for th finesse through both threat and violence. Wow, I'm terrible at English tonight. Through both threat and violence, the Thug gets what she wants by the promise of force and has no problem making good on that promise as needed. 
Eldritch, Eldritch Scoundrel is tempting me mostly because of this detect magic. I really like detect magic. It's a fun spell. Uh, however, Knife Master is more up my typical alley of a rogue. So I guess because of that, let's go with an Eldritch Scoundrel since it's not my typical alley. What is her spellcasting ability though? Uh, it is unclear. Alright. Oh, getting into the nitty gritty here. I forgot they simplified. The, I'm surprised they simplified skills. Okay. Ability points, dex, and intelligence. That makes sense. Oh god, there's a lot of reading. <laughs> I feel like half of the stream is going to be me reading through the character creation. Um, wisdom is will saves, perception and lore checks. Charisma. Can I dump, can I dump stat charisma? I'm actually surprised they don't have a uh, a roll feature for stats. I'm not. I wouldn't be using it even if I did. But use magic devices, influence others, channel energy DCs. Um, I don't really need much of this, so let's go ahead and set this down to eight. Dex is going to be used for my melee, and I assume intelligence is going to be used for my spellcasting. It doesn't actually specify, though. Uh, it very much does not specify, which is highly problematic. Let me, let me look it up. Uh, Pathfinder, Kingmaker, Eldritch, Scoundrel, I think is what it's called. Um, each level, another set only gains another, uh, okay. Spellcasting. Drawn from the Sorcerer Wizard spell list, and Eldritch Scoundrel uses her intelligence score for as her spellcasting modifier. <clears throat> um, which I assume also determines how many I can cast per day. Unclear. Begins knowing all zero level wizard spells plus three first level spells of her choice. Um, learn spells from scrolls. Okay. I'll just schedule his uh, casting. I probably should have read that first before I went online and read it online. <laughs> Thank you for attempting, though. Uh, Dex, I assume I need for skill checks. Uh, okay, actually, I can read right here. It's, it's probably. Uh, so trickery. I'm probably maxing. Can I do multiple? No, I can only do one. I'm definitely doing trickery, though. Trickery, stealth, and maybe persuade perception. I assume I need that to find traps, but maybe not. Disarm traps or device. It doesn't not say, but I would assume so. Wait, uh, uh, mm, I don't need that. So I feel like it would be either perception. Knowledge Arcana, maybe. Mm. I think it's Perception or Knowledge Arcana. I'll get to that when I get to that, though. The one, that, the thing I need to know is Trickery is Dex based, uh, which I assume Stealth is also Dex based. Yeah, I'm probably gonna like go heavy Stealth. It should also be at least a 14. I think I could go up to 16. Hmm. I don't know what weapons I'm going to really use. Yep, perception does help find traps and hidden items. Okay. Yeah, I think I have to take that then. Oh, I do get more. I get, get more skill points because of my intelligence. That's convenient. I wasn't sure if it was going to do that. One, two... Three, four, five, six. 
Do I need strength? Really? I probably need it for damage. I should uh, go back to... Uh, hopefully going back doesn't reset everything I've selected so far. I need to read weapon finesse. Do I not? Wait, hold on. Do I not have a... I do have a weapon finesse. That on uh, attack rolls. It does not necessarily say damage rolls. Uh, your character's uh, melee attack rolls, damage rolls when using... Aha, uh, okay, so strength does apply to damage rolls. Hmm. Including a sling. Does not apply to a bow. A strength penalty, but not a bonus, applies to attacks made with a bow. Uh, AC, range attacks... I probably am going to be using it a decent amount. I'm probably going to be more of a ranged rogue, I suspect, as being a like, partial spellcaster. I really don't need strength. I kind of want to just go two more constitution. Hmm. Difficult selection. Would wisdom be useful? Perception? Mm, perception check. And will saving throws. Hmm. Versus con is fortitude saving. Uh, fortitude saving throws is probably like this. This actually gives another HP. Let's go with that. Oh, I do get a racial bonus too, don't I? Which would be either dex or intelligence. I think we going dex, especially since I think I'm going a range character. Alright. Uh, so I have two I can put here. So I think... Is it mobility? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going knowledge of Kanda, though, for sure. 100%. Um... Knowledge world. As you create or detect forgeries, decipher writing, identify monsters, humanoids, and recall knowledge about geography, history, people, and places. I probably need at least a little bit of persuasion. It's probably not spectacular to have the main character not have any persuasion. It's at a minus one stat, but it's probably still worth... Uh, not being completely useless in it. Although you could argue we say it's the same about athletics, but it's fine. All right, I think we're good. Um, uh, okay. Whoa, abilities. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what this stuff down here. Uh, I see recommended versus not recommended. Deft abilities receives skill focus. So I can even go even harder at trickery. I am tempted to do that. Stealth, perception, trickery. Hold on, let me go back and read perception again. Your character's perception so enables to read secret messages, get hunches, notice creatures and details, search the location, sense motives. Wait, hold on, and so on. Hmm. Perception or trickery? Let's go with trickery. I don't want to. I don't want to miss any traps. Or not? Well, I'm okay. More okay with. Funny enough, I'm more okay with missing traps. I don't want to miss. Uh, not be able to pick a lock and miss loot. Point blank shot is rec. I mean, is it the only recommended one? These are not recommended. Making a full attack with a ranged weapon, you can fire one additional time this round at your highest bonus. Why is that not recommended? Class ability is the most useful ability. It affects skill checks. One class may as well. Wait. I'm not 100% sure I understand why it doesn't want me to take this. 
Uh, arcane armor training, I might take at some point. Uh, I forgot how many feats there are going to be. Allied Spellcaster. Okay, that's not useful. Mm. Combat casting is interesting. Deceitful. Hmm. That's just a skill one, I see. Die hard. Ah, okay, yeah, it's, that's the same as it is in D&D. &D. Elemental focus. No. I think I'm probably taking point blank shot, to be honest. Oh, I could take meta magic though. That would be interesting. How does this work? Um, benefits. Is this just free? Empowered spell uses up a okay uses up a slot. I, I, I understand now. It is not free. Piranha strike. When wielding a light weapon or any other weapon that can be used with weapon finesse, you can choose to take minus one penalty on all melee attack rolls and uh, 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 okay. You can take minus attack for plus damage, basically. Shake it off. Uh, throw anything. That's funny. All right, yeah, I'm taking point blank shot. <clears throat> uh, I think I'm good. Oh, I have to select spells. Select spells. So I have all of these to start, which I can use in theory infinitely. Armored casting is useless as armor interferes with casting. Oh wait, hold on. I thought uh, armored casting specifically said or arcane armor training specifically says it reduces arcane spell failure. That's what that's why I was considering taking it in the future. I however I currently do not know what ten percent is. Like I don't know if leather armor has ten percent or how that works. However, I do not appear to have any armor proficiency. Given that I can take armor version to light armor anyway, so I think it's probably a moot point, and I'm probably never gonna take it actually. There are options of spells. Color spray, I love color spray. It's so dumb, but I love color spray. Uh, I might take it. Wait, wait can I really take six? I mean, magic missiles required, right? Shield. Summon monster one. Touch of gracelessness. I see. Uh, I mean, boom, boom. I'm not gonna take entirely offensive spells. Flare burst. What is Hurricane Bow? Any arrow fired from a bow or crossbow you are carrying when the spell is cast deals damage if it's one size larger. 1d8 transfers to 2d6. Ooh. That's an interesting buff. Hmm. I'll put it, mark it down for now. Um. Hypnotism, Magic Missile. Reduce poison. Oh, reduce person. <laughs> it's not reduce poison. I'm like, that's a weird wizard spell. Uh, sleep. The stone fist. Oh. Stunning barrier. Hmm, not spectacular. I want to take summon monster one. I think. And shield, I think. I need to figure out what I'm not taking. It's probably, it's probably burning hands. I need to read through this though. Oh, this doesn't do damage? I swear this used to do damage. In, in Dungeons & Dragons, at least. 
Each is stunned for one round. Uh, okay. As much as I love color spray, this color spray is not as good as the color sprays that I'm used to. So, uh, summon monster instead of that. Now shield. A magic missile is force damage, which I assume is just as good in Pathfinder as it is in Dungeons and Dragons. So burning hands, sleep, sleep or hypnotism. I should probably choose between these two. Four HD of creatures. Four hit dice of creatures. Um, versus hypnotism, which is two D four dice of creatures, which would be an average of five. So technically, this is on average going to hit more, but it's random. Um, I don't know if a round is six seconds or twelve seconds, but this I think lasts shorter time. Time. Uh, do these both affect creatures, not necessarily enemies? It looks like it. Enemies within ten foot point burst centered on target point within medium range. Thirty foot burst. Thirty foot burst. Hmm. Sleeping creatures are health. Wounding awakens an affected creature, but normal noise is not. This does not target unconscious creatures, constructs, or undead creatures. This doesn't say anything about it. Hmm. I also don't know what happens if someone is. Let me look up. Hold on. Let me look up the dazed mechanic. Okay. Actually, I could. I guess I could just look up uh, the spell itself. It probably be as the answer to this question on the wiki. Nope, it does not have any answer to this question. Day's condition. Uh, creature is unable to act normally. A day's creature can take no actions, but has no penalty to AC. Uh... That seems really good. That seems a lot better than sleep. The sleep is instead going to be shield. And I'm good. Oh. Have to choose alignment. This hurts so much. What's that glitter? What's that glitter? This is my chance to run. This will hurt. I'm wounded. <laughs> That's pragmatic. Is that is that really no pragmatic? Unexpected outcome. Let us bide our time. Please Let work. us be careful. My skills exceed yours. Ice. I will see this through. Magnet. The road calls me. I'll take the bait. Let's shred them. I kind of want Wherever to go with Madman. Alright, let's go with Madman. Right, go with Mad Man. Uh oh, that's convenient that there's 12 months. Let's see if any of these names strike out stand out to me. Kalistro, Ferast, Gazran, Desnus, Serenith. Rastus, Erodus, Rova, Lamashan, Neth, Lithona. Hmm, not really. Let's go with Neth Uno. Uh, choose name. Okay, this shouldn't be here. There we go. We'll go with Kindra. Uh, chaotic good or chaotic neutral? Let's see. I want, I'm curious how they represent chaotic neutral. Uh, oh, they don't really. Okay. Follow their con consciences in case they have multiple consciences. Uh, resent being told what to do, favor new ideas over tradition, and keep their promises only if they feel like it. That's not really exactly accurate, but okay. To be fair, chaotic neutral is, is a problematic alignment in games, period, just because of how open to interpretation is. But to be fair, it's also poorly interpreted very often. 
All right. Uh, Zira? So that, that is my guess as to how to say the first part of your name would be Zira. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Chaotic good or chaotic neutral? Hmm. Let's go with chaotic good. All right. All I see is black. You joined right as I was about to finish creating my character. So good timing. Uh, let's go. I think that, I don't think there's anything for me to select here. So yeah. Soul eaters and some demons can consume a living creature's soul, making its resurrection a difficult task. You just woke up sick, but how are you? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. You can call me Marie if that's easier. Um, I will be honest, it probably isn't easier because I have a terrible memory, so I'm more likely to call you by the, the username that I am seeing. I will attempt to remember it, Marie, however, I can make no promises. Our story started, uh, they just read this. I, I don't know why I was about to read it again. Our story, I'm going to just read it again anyways. Our story started at the mansion of an Ald Aldori sword lord. I almost said sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Oh, okay. I thought this would be more there. This is a nostalgic POV. This is my first companion. Aldori. We're looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? But why did you come here if you don't know? You can't be patient. No one's keeping you here. Just go I probably need to turn up the volume a little bit. Whatever hole you crawled out of, the Aldori sword lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. I'll do that once this is done, because I'm nervous about hitting escape. Actually, aha, it works. All right, Ike's. Uh, music could go down a little bit, though. The voices need to go up a bit more, too. Alright. That should help. Tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. Artusio? Is that my is that my second companion? Again, you can't see behind me. Alright, you purple toad. Just <laughs> shut your trap. Oh, there you go. Now you can see him. On the left there. Hush! Quiet! They're coming! Lindsay. Lindsay is probably my new my new second companion. That is a dramatic entrance. Super slow walk. Greetings, everyone. To the stage. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldor. Okay, I swear she said Lord Sword Lord. Joseph Salimius of Rustal. I swear Welcome she said it. I was not imagining it. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. <laughs> they have a description of his look, but they don't have a image. We need only the best just have his name the best there. For this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Rustal needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. I feel like they now, should have the created point. like a character Stand creator, here, like for their banner or for border, images like this. Lies a region known so they didn't have to do something lands. like that. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the stolen Are you the one trying to seize the Baron stolen lands? Why are they called the stolen lands if no one's success well, no one's actually stolen them? None of the neighboring what? states would be able to That's a weird name. It. Of course, Restall would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. But Unfortunately, I think I misunderstood one serious something. obstacle stands between you what? and this town. Oh, you want me to be the Baron? Sway in the Stolen Lands. Or Baroness. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, Stag Lord. considers himself the rightful owner of these lands. And no one has yet. Why not recognize the Stag Lord as Baron? I assume because Bring me they can't head, control them. And you'll be able to return to the Stolen And they assume they, they can control us. Ruler. Which I assume they're probably going to turn out bad, and then we won't let ourselves be controlled or something. There's a whole team of us who exactly will receive the Baron's title. That's a good point. 
Why not just recognize the Staglers, Baron? I mean, I'll probably ask that. Oh, let's start with this. I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Are you, though? Don't worry, though. I don't believe I'll you. I'll make it worth your while to help me. Tart Tartusio. I, it's not Artusio. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even <laughs> succeed? Well, I see this dwarf is a pessimist. Title, when we'll most likely lose our lives there. <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. There you go. Over they will the all share the title. It will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best we're all equally, to rule. We're all equally deserving. That's a good point. As I see it, this stag lord already holds power I mean, over yeah, the region actually, with confidence. I mean, yeah, this is a really good Many interpretation of it by, by Jay Jaythal? I don't know how to say her name. But I mean, yeah, Robert, Robert Barons are, are a literal thing. Like, uh, mostly in mainland Europe, but like there were barons who controlled enough territory and enough power, or quote-unquote barons, who controlled enough territory and power just through force and intimidation that eventually, like when the surrounding lands got conquered by countries, it just became easier for those countries to recognize those like adopt those barons into their country and like keep their position rather than to try and take them through force. Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers and even those who just oh, okay. like it's an eth it is a, a well, title ethics, to a bandit quote unquote. lord. <laughs> and More of a standard thing that's never happened here and it won't. But we're taking it by force ourselves anyways. How does that make it different? I don't understand. You're helping us found a barony? What do you gain from such generosity? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why? That's, that's for Lady what? Aldori and I, I to discuss. I hate this. It's this none gnome. of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. I shoot a bow, but good try. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your yes, country that is in fact far, exactly my concern. Using you as a front... Well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs. Wait, is her mouth forms. moving? No, it's not. Okay, I thought her mouth was actually moving what while talking. What is that smell in the air? Is it the smell of unspoken words and political? That is an interesting intrigue? portrait. Noticing you've heard her comments, she winks at you coyly. Interesting. What rewards can we expect exactly? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title? Well, and only one. Land. What? Only one person gets a noble title. What? Are you drunk? We'll absorb That's a dumb the comments. Of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, there you go. Rest off. will also allocate okay. you a significant Hold sum on. to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. You're... I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Uh, it still assumes that I, I'm the that the one person that the person who goes becomes the Baron or Baroness. Words, words, words. <laughs> Significant, financial. I can't <laughs> fill my belly with pretty words. Interesting, barbarian. Uh... Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feast. Oh, there you go. Now you're talking. Are, is really a feast all you need, Am Amari? Amiri? Excellent. You venture I'm not so tomorrow. sure about. For now, she's she's very easily convinced. To get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. Thanks, Steel. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you. Thank you again. Oh. With all my heart for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your Eo I almost called this person Joseph, but it's actually Eosa. true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return. I already got my feet. I got that for being level one. Silly mayor. Hi, my name's Lynn. 
Hello. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. Oh, is this my is this my Shall we go second companion? I'm Kendra, pleased to meet you. We sure will, just wait. Um Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. I can't I, I think she's a halfling. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself Yes, head of he the is pretty obnoxious. Just after the Baron's crown or whatever it is Baron's wear. I don't think matter. they wear crowns. I, like I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This this is the person I'll write <laughs> my book about. Wait, a book? Damn. I should have led with that. A what? Please, just let me explain. You know what oh, the trouble okay. with most I, biographies I, is? I don't know what it clicks, but I don't think later, I skipped anything. Based on the tales of best case, people who saw things from the outside. True. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies. Let's see, there you go. Time. There's her portrait. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all? I wish I could, like, properly? move the bottom UI to the left so you could see. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A good <clears> plan, <throat> huh? Or maybe and that horrific scythe lady? A heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or yeah, I don't like the dwarf. Scythe lady. Or God's I also don't like Tutusio. No way. I assume the scythe lady is the tiefling, who we have like literally, literally no information about. What about that barbarian? Oh yeah, she's fantastic. You can tell she could tear a bear's head off with her bare hands, but Aha, uh -huh. bear bear's head with bare hands. I see. Just a little. But I mean her sword's twice as big as I am. She could cut me down without So you don't want to be too thing. close to her because you just might just like accidentally die. Right. I see, that makes sense. I'm sure you'll agree. Alright. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Okay. See you. Why do I have what this spell? Hold on, I have spells here that I did not select. What? I am confused. Click on the location you walk to, and uh, okay, yes. Kind of figured. Uh, hold on, let me look at my spells. Okay. So what? What? Why do I have what? Oh, these are cantrips. I see. I understand now. Uh, spells memorized. I mesmer memorized, memorized. Mm. Let's take off magic missile and go with hypnotism. Uh, all right, let's talk to let's talk talk to Artusio. Oh, he doesn't want to talk. Okay. All right, what about you, Amiri? Adventurer. Dayful. Ah, so she is the safe lady. What about the dwarf? Where is this dwarf? There's this the dwarf. This. This is not a dwarf. Where is the dwarf? Aha! I'm surprised there's no dialogue here. You know, the camera uses the WASD and arrow keys or press and hold the middle mouse button. Or just move to the side of the screen. Hey, right. is there anything I can loot? That's the important question. Uh, action? Ability, I see. Where's stealth? I assume that would fall under ability. This spell book. Uh, what? what? Hmm? Aha! There's stealth. Oh, shadows, embrace me. That was. Oh, right. I selected Madman for my voice, that's why. Can you, is, is pickpocketing not an option? Huh. That's surprising. 
And there doesn't appear to be anything I can loot from. Uh, nothing for a loot goblin. Uh, I assume I'm not supposed to go that way. Where am I supposed to go? Probably on my map. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess I am supposed to go that way. Oh, wait. I can hit this. That, that does not help. What are these? These are... Okay. I like that you can uh, do this from the map. Again, reminiscent of Baldur's Gate, but... <clears throat> Aha! I missed, I missed, I missed what it was trying to tell me. Oh, hello, Tiefling. Northern architecture is beautiful, but very heavy. In my native land of Quad Era, palaces are furnished quite differently. The stolen lands are dangerous. Hello. Help! Help! What? What's going on? The mansion's under attack. We need to help. Why? What? Some villains broke in and started That's weird. killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers, or we'll all be cut down. One. Oh, well, okay. There's confirmation. Can I, is there anything I can take in here? Can I loot Goblin? Yep. Yeah. Oh, hello. I can loot Goblin him, probably. Pause, uh, pause the space. <clears throat> Dice rolls, initiative. Death with you. Uh, do I even have any weapons? Ever burning torch. I have a light crossbow equipped. I'm not going to equip that yet in case it uh, does not work. How do I declare an attack? Die, die, die! Let the attack commence! I don't. I think I am declaring an attack. Oh. I'm. This is a problem. Um. Hmm. Yeah! Well, it's a very long atta attack. But I guess it wasn't equipped. Yeah. Oh, easy. A dagger and a chain shirt. What is my? Okay. One d six piercing, nineteen to twenty critical hits. 1d4 piercing, 1920 critical hit. An ever burning torch in this hand. How do I switch here? Uh, weapon loadouts. Do I really have to do it in here? Okay, I, I guess so. Right, is there a way to like load my weapon? Also, I can't move my map down. Okay, I guess I can't go down here. I can. I just can't look around down there. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and oh, sneak. Embrace me. Hello. Lindsay's journal. It says, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way first. Hello. Ooh. Uh, how do I detect the trap? Mm. Unclear. So many thoughts. So little time. Inspect. Oh, that not it. Trap detection is passive. Okay, fair enough. What is inspect?
Do you have any idea what inspecting is? Cadmus? Cadmus? A doll, a longbow, a dagger, a bloodstone, and 12 gold coins. Time to sneak everywhere. It says my job is a rogue. Expect is used to see enemy information nearby. Okay. There's an enemy in here. There is not? Interesting. Just free loot, I guess. Ooh, wait, okay. Old map of Istin. Curse of Ancient Iobaria. Okay. It is a lot of flavor text. Also, I'm already medium encumber because I'm a loot goblin. And that is how I am. I probably should have gotten more strength. I'll hold on to the chain shirt for now because an ally might be able to use it. They got someone, we have to help. Is it, what's his name? Hold on, is he being evil? Oh, no, okay. Is this one dead? Yeah, that one is dead. May I see your entrails, please? God, it takes so long to shoot. Just in time. I need a short bow. And I'd have been, oh, I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? <laughs> but it's all right now. I'm Darn, safe, unfortunate. And unscathed, ready to lead you to victory. We should have uh, let them the line in the finish him off. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the right, Would you not fall under the list of dummies, though? Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. Do I, though? Why do I feel like it's evil? Wait, oh, I have actual Time party now. Time becomes distance. Hold on. Uh, all right, so what are you? You are bard and you are sorcerer. Oh, wait, oh, we have a shared stash. Oh, that's convenient. Leather armor versus a chain shirt. Uh, arcane spell failure chance. I don't think a bard is arcane spell, spell caster, so I think this is just positive. Leather armor. Uh, dagger. We should probably make sure everyone has a melee weapon. Incense. Oh, I thought that was a potion. Uh, okay, just free plus one armor. Nice. What are armors at? I see. Down there. Wow, her armor is... Oh, I guess she's actually wearing armor. That makes sense. Ring prevents her from dying and teleports her to a safe location should she fall in battle. That's convenient. All right. I think we're good. I wonder how it determines who... Oh, wow. It's leading from both of them. That's convenient. Uh, I do want to split off from the party, though. A little bit. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go versus not. Companions. I understand that there are companions. However, I need to loot Goblin on my own. Pause. I see. Uh, okay. So these two can come up here. Well, you 
burn. Kill you. Slice. Uh, uh, hey. Okay. You probably should. Uh, okay, I probably should have waited until she was actually like in line of sight. Oh, she can shoot. Lindsay and Tartusio are capable of casting spells. I don't have a melee character yet. This is a problem. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's pause. Uh, okay. You probably need to run. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. This might provoke two attacks of opportunity. There we go. Um, ear piercing screen. Nah, just use your whatever your normal weapon is. Serves you right. These have a spell casting standard action. Standard action. These are all spell standard actions. Um. A successful range touch attack. These are all just range touch attacks. Okay. It's just a different type of uh, damage. Nice. All right, uh, all of you can go up here. Actually, you hold on. You stealth. These two can go up here. Hold on. Oh, never mind. They're all here. That's a tight angle. I wonder if he counts as having cover. I don't know how, the, how cover works in this game, and I don't really see anything that, like, it would indicate that he has cover. Actually, maybe I can look at this. Uh, difficulty minus two. I don't know if that's the, the cover. Might be. You deserved it. Uh, is are you okay? Nope, you're not okay. Well, good start. That was a great start. My character immediately died. I just I need a melee character to be fair. Let's shake a leg. That would help. Uh, I probably should have you heal me, right? Yes. Why did that trigger twice? How many spells do you have? There we go. That's a lot better. Added armor, short, aha, short bow, finally. I appreciate that there appears to be no ammunition. Uh, 1d8. I mean, based off of this, the light crossbow seems objectively better. However, my assumption is the short bow attacks faster? But maybe that is an incorrect assumption. Step. Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun! You stealth. Is there anything lootable here? Does not appear to be the case. Oh, I see. We went into the same way. Okay. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Interesting. You two go up here. You go forward. Um, uh, okay. These two continue forward. The road and you can calls open the door. Me. I'll take the bait. Oh, okay. 
Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Pathetic. They couldn't even defend themselves, but they thought they could conquer the Stolen Lands? Yanzia Inc. Yeah. Let's see. What's up here? This seems like... Oh, hello. Clearly the cat killed all these people. All right, you two up here. You can I'm trusting you here. Look around here. Is there anything here other than the cat? I can't even interact with the cat. Apparently, there's a fish barrel with fish and a bunch of cooking supplies and a recipe book. Good. my inventory like light still oh uh healing potions i should probably divvy these up i assume yeah shift click to do that uh 11 versus 10 but you already have healing potions nice whoa Hell yeah. All right. You two go here. I'll go open these stores inside. Oh, hello. It's the end for you rats. It's the barbarian. All right, you two charge in and kill this one. Any last wishes? Uh, you charge in and kill this one. Oh! All right, die, kill this one. Die, die, die. I should probably get closer. Or can I go back here and stealth? Okay, I was wasting time. She just murdered everyone. Oh, it's you. Stay up from under my feet or I'll strike you down. Blood for Gorum! Blood for Gorum! Barbarians. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What? Bloodthirsty and angry? What? Stupid, sweaty, and always <laughs> looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria saved me from such heroes. I have to agree with him on that one. What is this? Oh, okay. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, I mean, I'll take the posh. I, I mean, the daggers are only one pound each. We'll take them for now. I assume I can potentially sell the... Oh, I meant to stealth. I fucked up. Hey, you ugly mug, get them. What oh. the fuck is this? Is that a purple? Oh. That's my assumption, is that it's a furball? I don't know if that's how you say it. So Used up. What? So little time. You two go here. Love, help. Eh, I don't need the padded armor. Is there anything else in this area? There's these bodies. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't get through there. I'll grab one of these each. And the spear I can use. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't think there's any point in me equipping it. I guess we'll continue forward. I don't need to stealth up to the door, but it's easier than me unstealthing and then me stealthing. Ah, 
Aha, dexterity. Can I open this? No, I cannot. So the only option is to dexterity this. Did you see that? Oh, well, okay. I'm guessing that was kind of an auto success. Let the attack go. I guess I should just all oh, hit this one. Yeah! That was easy. Leave this one too long. Attack of opportunity failed. All right, leave this one too. Uh, okay. I don't need to get all this armor. Um, these two, however, you again break off stealth and open the door. Kick down the door. Break the door to the armory and find some weapons. Is this the is this the armory? This is not the armory. Uh, yes, it is. It is the armory. Nice. That was kind of deceptive. Press the tab key. Aha! I was wondering what this what the button for this was. This is a very useful button. To be fair, I already kind of have the weapon that I wanted. Wait. Step, step, step. Did I not get everything from that? I did. Uh, banded mail does not help me. Breastplate very much does not help me. A key, though. That helps me. Is that four pound key? Hello? Tower shield does not help. And the last thing is. What have we here? This chest okay. is full of gold. I guess it's you're metagaming Tartusio. You cannot see the chest. Well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. Agree. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. Uh, to be fair, I'm chaotic good, so heroically it doesn't necessarily make sense for me to do, take it. How would she know it was us and not the assassins? Unless someone planned on telling her. Don't drag me into this. You do what you want, but I'm not taking a single coin. Okay, but I kind of like want to look in it at least. Is that going to be a problem? Oh god. All right. 210. That's so tempting to take. I am a rogue. No, backwards. Backwards. How much money do I have? Uh, I don't even know where I need to look at it. 490. All right. I'm good. I don't need it. That's a pittance. Medium and heavy loads burn the character. Okay. I mean... I should probably try and lighten that. I assume six pounds is the highest thing. Next to the highest thing. I can sort by weight, though. Spear is also six pounds. Um, Spear is tempting to keep, kind of. Alright, we'll drop a longbow, too. How do I view the ground? Oh, okay, does drop, does drop mean... Drop, I guess, means delete. That is not how... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I see. There it is. We're good. Uh, I don't know if there's anything this way. Actually, let's check. Hmm, there's not. This way. Oh, familiar faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. Wait, why does she look it's different? Me, Jathol. 
I don't recommend advancing down the hallway. Assuming you value your life, of course. <laughs> there were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. I believe in us. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have... Because they were bad at their jobs? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait. <laughs> all right, I'm not dead. Oh, okay. By a group of assassins. Deal? All right. The undead I'm has undead. a sight. That's interesting. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. I bet I can disarm the traps. What do you mean undead? Really? Like zombies or skeletons or vampire? As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. That's a good logic. Uh, okay. You two also go up here. Shall we move? You still. We shall move. Also, let's go ahead and save. I spy. Uh -huh. What do I spy? Easy clap. I mean, we, ha we had to advance down the hallway anyway, so I'm, to be fair, I'm pretty sure it was like automatic success. Oh, I should check and see if she has or if she needs anything from me. She has her scythe as a melee weapon. She could use a composite longbow as a side weapon. I'll go ahead and give her one. We also have six daggers. Uh, okay. Ha. Easy clap. No secrets can escape my prying gaze. Another one. All right, these three can go up here. I did it. Is there anyone in here? This this is surprisingly empty. Although, I, to be fair, I was kind of expecting um, Bashard. I don't know what that is. Uh, I was kind of expecting... What is the size of these? 40 pounds! No, thank you. Uh, something similar to Baldur's Gate 2, where like it had like excessive numbers of enemies in the starting area. Doesn't wait for me there, I wonder. Which, to be fair, I think was kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. Ooh, scrolls. None, none for her, though. I think, however, they are both for her, which appears to be the case. Scroll of Shield of Faith or Scroll of Bless? Bless is pretty good. Or she is encumbered right now. Really? By what? The light crossbow or the armor? Armor, yes. Uh, it's fine. Uh oh. Suddenly locked into a cutscene, kind of. Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Yeah! Hello? Please? I was stealthed. Fuck your automatic success. But mine? Never thought I had that much. Oh. Nice. That was kind of shit. Uh, cure. Uh, you have no more cures, which I'm not too surprised by, but uh, is unfortunate. I guess time to use a potion. Trail me. Wait, hold on. Stop. Nice. Uh, that's interesting that that count. Does it count as using a spell? Is that why it paused? I'm not sure. 
Um, stuff. Let's shake a leg. Ooh, potions. I need those. So thank you. So many potions. Do you have any potions? No, you can have some potions too. Wait, what are you? An Inquisitor. You're a Divine Caster? Oh. She probably can heal too. Time becomes distance. Okay, that opened very easily. Um Those are semi suspicious. Gold and silver disc. Gold and rusty horseshoe. Oh, okay. What? Interesting. Uh, is there a clue somewhere? The shields behind them are probably a clue. There's also probably more on in this other room over here. I guess let's go that way first. Is there a way to fast forward? Good old statue puzzle, yeah. Classic. Step, step, step. Aha! There are more statues. Forward. No, a lot more backwards. statues. Uh, hmm. Red, blue, blue, red. Wait, can I, can I even manipulate these? I can manipulate these individually. I assume that one ties to this one over here. It does. Uh, does this one? Oh, I assume this one activates this one. Yes, okay. And this one. Wait. How does that work? Does this one activate the other one? It does. Are the ones on the sides important? And if so, how would I even go about only activating those ones? Aha! So close. It's so close. Think I have it? No, I don't have it. I don't know if there's hints or anything. I figured it out through trial or error. I have an idea of what it is. Hold on, what is it? Okay, right, these two. I see. Which one is this again? That one. And this figures both of those. I'm gonna unstealth because uh, me stealthing around and doing this is dumb. This one only triggers that one and that one. What's this in one wait triggers these, this one triggers this. Um, I assume... Does this work? No, it doesn't. Fuck. Do these ones really only trigger each other? No, that one triggers both. I see. This one triggers those ones, so... Step, step, step. And this one triggers these two. This one triggers these two. Hmm. No. There's. Oh, wait. How? Okay. Uh. I'm close to a solution. Hold on. 
Nope, I'm not close to this. That one really triggers those. Please. I did not really I did not realize that. I actually think I was supposed to do a solution before. This ah! Aha! Found it. This one. Nope. Not that one. This one? Nope, that one triggers that one. Fuck! I've been working I keep working with in in <clears throat> incomplete information. Is there any in this, the uh Okay, no, it's not out here. Time becomes distance. Mm. No. Wait, hold on. Nope. Which one does this trick? That one. Hmm. A six stage binary puzzle is kind of impressively difficult for a first puzzle. But she says it requires moving back and forth between rooms. Wait, hold on. Okay. But both of these trigger ones in this room. That's not possible then. Not not this step. Right? Yeah, that one triggers that one. Which one does this one trigger? That one. So I need both of these to be down and either one, one of these two to be down. We can get it to that state, I think. Oh, come on, it's so close. Uh, only I only need one of these two to be down. Oh, come on. Trail. Five of them. And this one trays on, okay. Let's show you this one. Aha! Got it through luck. I'm generally bad at those puzzles, to be honest. And so so we it's not on. too surprising it was a struggle. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and stealth in here just in case. Look at this, Look at this hidden chest behind the wall. Ooh, agate, citrine. Wooden mug. What is this? Decorated scabbard, a shining scale, and a carved figurine. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Nice. All right, on stealth. And everyone go this way. And I'll stealth her at the door, although I think I'll probably instead open the door. Uh, you need to be in the front for one thing. Um, I don't want her to be in the Forwards. front. No backwards, backwards. Are we good now? Yes, we are. All right, Kindred stealth. Uh, you open the Share door. Share your will. Okay. Time becomes distance. Uh, what? Where did it, where did I trigger an enemy? There you are. Hey. Hello. May right, I see your instead. entrails, please? <laughs> 
actually just annihilated. I like her scythe. Okay, good job hitting your teammate. Oh wait. Never mind. That's uh, that's my teammate. That hit. That, so much that hit. With a little fire. What a night, huh? I thought I was all alone. It's good. I hope I get to keep the undead boring, companion. Fool assassins without anyone watching the show. It's not fun at all. <laughs> Many people have died for nothing. Lindsay is so Lindsay's the good. Um, who's the lawful? Or is Lindsay lawful? No, that's not right. Lindsay's definitely not lawful. Where could she could be? Casey is potentially evil. Casey is chaotic or evil, and then the gnome is the other one, which I guess means that the undead is lawful. That would be weird. Knowledge world check passed. Of course, I'm from Kadira. But tales of hot deserts and shady oases can Why are so many spellcasters? Finished. But if you'd like to share a dinner and pleasant conversation, just say the word. I like making new friends. I am Kayesi, one of the many here who seek a better fate, answering the call of Lady Jamandi. Jaman but unlike the I almost said Jamandi. Not Jamandi. Or night. It's why I'm still alive. I don't know where you're headed. I don't know where I'm headed either. The entrance to the main hall. I think I saw some guards there. Join me there if you wish. Why are you not coming with me? Step, step, step. Step, step, step. Uh, that dagger health heal. Studded leather. Ooh, actually. I'm gonna pick that up and see if you can use it. 20 pounds versus 25 pounds? It does put her down to light. Uh, what about you? What weapon? What armor do you have? Chainmail instead of chain shirt. Alright, I'll go ahead and drop this then. Nice. Mm, are you alive? No, you're probably just sitting there, aren't you? Are you... What are you? You stealth. Okay, I guess you go forward. This looks like a loot room? With no loot? Okay, never mind. Uh, you can unstealth. Grotus. Are you sure? I, I, I bet he's not even injured. Over me. It won't be much longer. I assume diplomacy Soon fifteen. Okay, I see. It says it up in the corner. Lord of oblivion. Uh, the check result will determine the way the dialogue develops. So, character in this party with the highest fitness in this desired skill is usually used to determine such a check. That I like that. That's a good. That's a good mechanic. It doesn't like base it off of the current character I'm controlling. You're wrong. I failed. Who would know better than I the severity of my own wounds? I can feel the last Intimidate drops plus of nine. vital force leaving me. I can't hear you. Oh, well, okay. Take up, you faker. Just look at him. Dying, Dying. he says. <laughs> what a buffoon. Come on. Why does that voice sound now? different? Or a tap dance on your court. <sighs> it, uh, it seems I will live. <laughs> I suppose I must postpone meeting my god. Not for long, I'm oh, sure. Oh, it's a cleric. But while we remain in this transient world, a cleric of a death god. Service. Okay. And convert their spells. Okay. Open spell book. If evil alignment doesn't need to prepare and inflict spells. Ah, I see. Convert to healing. I understand. Uh, can you heal me? Then, please. 
Uh, how does that work? Unclear. You should probably be near the front, though. Trail me. You can stealth. And we'll take it uh, one step at a time. Do any pick up? Nope. I know what formations are because I've played these games before. God, I wish there was a way to make rogues stealthing speed up. Uh, wait. Wait, where am I supposed to go? I guess maybe south? Aha! Assassins are still around here somewhere. Are you Aha. trying to put out a fire? Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamond. I don't know where the banquet hall is. Oh, a good thing it's one of the questions. Where's the hall? You'll have to run through the fire. We've almost put it out wow. of the entrance, so your main Amazing. concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hall. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hall. I see. No, we'll manage. I've got my best people here, those who still live. Wait, if you've got your best people here, why are your best people not going to protect your lord? It doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We need to help them. Someone Lindsay, shut the up. <laughs> let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. They don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. We cleared the passage so you can I assume get it's a timing thing, so I probably should not sneak down the hall. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first. Considering Lady Jamandi's faith, I'm not surprised that a whole pack of assassins were unleashed on her, including a giant. But what's at stake? What could anyone hope to gain? Keston, House Gares, a fighter in the service of Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori. Right now, I'm in charge of the mansion guards. As you can see, there's a lot to do. Just if a little bit. If I were a rich and influential lady like Jamandi, <laughs> I'd also give myself a manly captain of the guard is that like the is he the equivalent of a pool boy fire doesn't frighten me thanks to hell's blood running in my veins i'll go ahead okay but what about the smoke the don't you still have to breathe catch up may abadar keep you safe all right go through the fire Step. Step. uh i wish i could see better Okay. Uh, does not look like there's anything there, so I guess let's go here. Time becomes. Distance. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh. What? Okay, I was not expecting this. Hold on. Some game events play out as illustrated book episodes. Decisions you make during these episodes can have a drastic impact on the development of the game's plot. As with dialogues, you will often need to make various skill checks during these episodes, during, depending on the circumstances. Sometimes you'll need to use one of your party members to perform an action, and sometimes an action will be automatically performed by the character with the highest skill bonus. That's intriguing. And so our adventure started earlier and much more tragic than we had expected. The whole team we'd gathered in the hall yesterday had been reduced to about a handful of grave souls, led by Kindra and not at all by a scoundrel Tertusio, no matter what he might have imagined of himself. Jamandi Aldori was waiting for us, but to get to her, we'd have to march through fire. Literally. Well, run through fire, probably. As we approached the burning building, we drenched ourselves with buckets of water, tried to find a less dangerous passage, covered our noses and mouths before we rushed in inside. And he did warn us multiple times about the smoke. My, My instinct would be to hit the first button. However... I'm concerned that it would like hit the first button and then run in and not do the third one. So let's go ahead and do the third one. It was a good thing we hadn't wasted any time. After entering the building and taking just a few steps forward, the wall behind us slanted and crashed down with a terrible crackling sound. 
walking the way back. While we may not have planned on going back, if we'd come in a little later, the flaming logs and red hot bricks would have fallen right on our heads. Regardless, we were left with only one way to go. Hot air burned our lungs and our eyes watered from the smoke, but Kindra led us stubbornly through the flames, while Tartusio did nothing useful at all. We'd made it to the hallway leading to the banquet hall when we'd heard someone calling for us. It was Val Val Valeri? Valeri? One of the guards had chatted with a bit in the banquet hall. Even then, in, in that calm setting, I'd been stunned by her beauty. But now, amid the smoke and flames, she looked like a celestial avenger. An armored deity, menacing but powerful, beautiful and merciful, descending from the higher spheres to help us or mortals. She held a burned, barely living guard in our arms. There are two more, she shouted as she passed by us. They are wounded. Help me pull them out. Tartusio grumbled something about how Jamandi was waiting for us. Meanwhile, Kendra either rushed to save the guards from the fire, athletics plus two, or diplomacy plus nuts. Duh. I mean, a character would rush to save the guards from the fire, so let's stick with what my character would do. Aha! It paid off. Saving the poor fellows didn't take long. Together, we lifted them up and carried them away from the fire. Only then did Valerie pause to catch her breath and wipe the sweat from her face. Thank you, that was truly noble of you. And now let us rush to Lady Aldori's aid. Ensuring the guards we rescued were relatively safe, we made our way to the hall where the battle was already in full swing. Thank you. One of your characters is fatigued. Uh, to notify you that, uh, okay. Here. Open character screen. I, uh, I don't know what that does. Uh, minus two penalty strength index. Okay, I see. Okay, you should probably still be in the front. Forwards. No, backwards, backwards. She's a tower shield, so yes, definitely. I wish I could stealth right now. Oh, okay, there's a uh, door at the end of the hall. That's convenient. Uh, you go and stealth oh, now. Shadows embrace me. That was a weird way to say that. Save. No feeds left. I don't understand why. What? If I take this money now, does it not do anything? Okay. It doesn't let me take the money now. Everything else can stay. Oh, I supposed to say it leave. Wait, hold on. I'm encumbered. Sort by weight in descending order. A Fauchard is 10. Oh, well, okay. Weight is gonna be a problem. I guess let's stay Let's stay with everything. These are two pounds, three pounds. Only cost one gold. This costs eight gold at two pounds. I don't know why I'm taking all the daggers if I'm being 100%. It's all about optimizing gold to weight to ratios. I assume none of the armors are really... Oh, banded mail is, but it's also very heavy. And breastplate is. These are one pound, two pounds. Although the short bows are actually very efficient. All right, I'm gonna stop worrying. I keep, I keep not, I keep forgetting this is the actual exit screen. I keep trying to leave that screen to leave the building, but I'm actually in the leave screen. Hello. What is happening? Wait. Why is it? What? Oh. 
Hold on. Why are you sitting here? Well, okay. Why why are you just sitting here? Hello. Hello? All right, hold on. Uh, you have bus. Uh, you have. No. You have any cantrips that are your buffs? No. My patience is running you... thin. Also, no. Oh wait, yes you do. Hmm, resistance. Eh. Not really that useful. I crave for adventure. Right, you. Also resistance, I assume. Looks like it. You can inspire courage. Share your will. Do you have anything useful? Divine favor. Oh well, I think we trigger combat. Oh wait, no. That was the spell cast end thing. Alright, I mean realistically we should probably kill the bowman first. Let's go after the leader. Let's go after one of these that are nearby. Uh, you probably should turn and fight them. In the meantime, these two can focus on them and you can focus on the nearby one. Sure. <laughs> what just happened? Ray of Frost, okay. Uh, okay, Dwarf is dead. This is problematic. Burn! Slice! Uh, behead! Hello. Amiri? Okay. Nice. Uh, select everyone and shift gears to you. You can shift gears to this Leave one. Leave this one to me. You can shift gears to this one, and you can go up. <laughs> and attack this one. <laughs> okay, Never, I, I should have figured. Die, die, die. <laughs> uh, okay, that was the ray of frost. Nope. Unworthy. Attack these two. Uh, that's basically all combatants dead. Now we just need to kill the rift channelers. Serves you right. Oh. Easy clap. Uh, I should loot while I have the chance. Hold on. Stop pausing. Loot. Okay. Nice. Is uh she raging and attempting to kill me or something? Okay. Never mind. She's not. Bracers. Unidentified bracers. That's fun. The short bows I should definitely be taking. Obviously healing I should be taking. And that's it. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Uh, in your face, jerks. Is there anything I should be looking at? Who's this? I don't need to worry about that right now, actually. Uh, right, let's go. Uh, oh, hello, Hydra. Are you about to die by the Hydra? 
Can I not help against the Hydra? How did that, what? <laughs> Uh, I just didn't stare, I guess. Can you heal yourself, please? Oh, wait, how does this work? I healed the Hydra. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess it was because it would be weird if I killed the Hydra at this point in the game. Steal from this. Okay, that was unexciting. A great axe is pretty cool, but it's not really valuable. Hello, I saved you. you. You're welcome. Your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger, True. and that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially Back grateful to, to them Zio. for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. Why are you saying they? this attack means oh, we okay. have even less time everyone. than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. Uh, are you sure that's a You'll good idea? Your expedition immediately. You have like no defenses right now. You probably need us to defend you. Lady Aldori, please. I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Irovetti? Diplomacy plus three That's or knowledge world killed. check. The bandits recognized her as one of their own by the signet ring. Probably, yes. But this evidence is circumstantial at best. I wonder if that if I hadn't put the ring on, if that would how There's if that would have not been a thing. A spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. I mean, to be fair, you don't actually... Lindy could literally tell you that he gave me the ring, to be fair. It doesn't have to be his word versus mine. They both came to your aid, Lady Jamandi. But a liar's cunning knows no bounds. I've never met these two or their companions. For all I know, they're all conspiring spies. How could you say that? We fought together. We literally went through fire together. <laughs> and then you vanished into True. thin air. Through fire After and you flames, in fact. You'd wait. My words might be rash. I bet my life despise anyone but this woman. I saw how <laughs> she dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with her through hell and high water. This purple crook, <laughs> on the other hand. I like Amiri. He's got the eyes of a spy. In the mug of a spy! In the mug of a spy. Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed her true colors. She forced us to break into the armory and rob it. I mean, this is a very obvious answer. Such decisions impact your gradually shifting your character towards good or evil, lawful or chaotic. I mean, chaotic. This hundred percent fits the character. An attack is no reason to break into rooms in Are someone else's house and pocket their property. Are you drunk? Yes, it is. is it when those when that property is weapons and armor. And stop to question whether you may be breaking some law or rule. Our leader acted wisely. Is, is Harem the character? The chaotic character? There is a difference between initiative taken in battle and blatant arrogation. I don't know who you are, but fuck you. Disregards authorities, be a leader herself. What? What is that logic? Hello? What is that logic? What about that trick she pulled right before we came in here? Wait, what trick? She knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help uh. you, she dallied as long as she could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. She was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Trying to save yeah, others I have is failed diplomacy checks. I did. Right. You were Fuck you, Jamandi. May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but. She behaved decently. I wonder. As a true leader. So they give you one chaotic versus lawful check, and they give you one evil versus good check. I wonder if, like, because it's so early on, if it actually like force changes your alignment immediately, which then determines obviously which um, party member you would get. 
So I, I wonder if by doing... Well, that wouldn't make sense, because then you couldn't be neutral at all. Unless, like, it made good to neutral. Which, if you chose the evil option, that would make sense. A true leader is someone who has their priorities right, <clears throat> not someone who would put a valuable ally's Shut life the fuck in up. danger. Why I, I hate so many of these characters. <laughs> Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting oh, the good. whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. I mean, Amani's coming with me, out. and presumably uh, Lindy is coming with me. Can be counted on to serve my the dwarf should also come with me, lands. but I don't think he will be. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the stolen lands have been killed. Those who yet live. Well, to, to be fair, you still need to guard your mansion. Like your most expedition. of half your guards are dead. What is this logic? I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But I don't right, agree Barry. with this logic. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two ah, teams that's pretty would you cool. Okay, to in the future, I, you can hover over these green things and get like more context. The God of Walls and Ditches. Walls and Ditches. Oh, di I mean ditches as in military ditches. I see. If Tartuccio allows, I would join his team. Forgive me. Oh, this I is don't cool. Appreciate your willfulness. You can see, uh, you can see how you influence decisions. So this one, in conversations with Jamandi, you described your motives in a way that seemed too chaotic and not credible to Valerie. And I like our leader. Oh, what okay. His dwarf is coming with me. Minding, orders, laws, and rules in the face of oblivion, knowing not whether you'll be alive tomorrow. I will go with. I don't know team. that I'm happy about that. Leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time I'm helping every upset. little pipsqueak. Those like Tartucci. I want I want Jethel with me. Jethel considers the thoughts you shared in your conversations with Jamandi and found too much pointless kindness. She was unimpressed. So she's evil or neutral. Ugh, Tartuccio is going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. Shellen, also known as the Eternal Rose, the Eternal Maiden, and the Incorruptible. Goddess of art, beauty, love, and music. And the half-sister of Azan Kuthan. There's a lot of it. A lot of lore. It's the, she's the goddess of love, but not the goddess of sexuality, lust, or fertility. Interesting. As for me, I know neither of these two, at least not well enough, and I have no wish to become an unwitting pawn to an unworthy leader. If Lady Jamandi allows, I'll remain in Restoff and help mend the wounds this attack has inflicted. But who knows? I'm not sure bring me who to the Ka Kaisi lands, is. But not yet. I'm really not sure what her alignment is. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this woman. As for Hell you, yeah. Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from <laughs> the trees. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactus Crossing. The garrison commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. Probably says the evil but ends up being more neutral because they're not a villain. Yeah, I mean, she looks... Her dialogue has been more on the neutral side. Or, well, I mean, early on, her dialogue was kind of aloof and not really, like, fighting at all. But this most recent sounded neutral. Soul lands are an almost wholly unsettled region in the northeastern section of the River Kingdom, supporting the nation of Bravoy and serving as a buffer between Bravoy and the River Kingdoms. Wait, okay. So the stolen lands are regarded as stolen by all nations along their tradition. Okay. Stolen because of bandits, I see. The Vigata's Crossing is a fishing village. Oleg Leviton's. Uh, Bend Fort, 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 found new life. A couple from Restoff, rebuilt it into a trading post. 
A few hospitable shelters for travelers in the surrounding wilderness. Tartuccio, your words are quite convincing. But I can't afford to trust words Yes, his words alone. are quite better than me. If you're really innocent, I hope you'll prove it with your deeds. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertoba Royal House may also of Sertoba. interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be points. Well, I mean, you, you say you managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far. However, clearly that is and not now, the case. Farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restall. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Assassinating the Assassins. Achievement unlocked. Amiri is a barbarian from the realm of the Mammoth Lord. She's blunt, a little crude, and doesn't talk much about her past. My heart's in the right place. I don't have anyone else at my side in the battle. Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. The dwarf isn't Beware even there. Stolen lands, heroes. I wonder if that means that you can um only like there's a chance you could only have three people in your party. a map of the stolen lands of the vicinity to set out click on one of the arrows near your party token you can learn the whereabouts of significant locations by talking to characters or happening upon them during your journey after learning about location you must find the way there yourself along the way your random encounter is away to may be attacked by bouncers you may meet new acquaintances after exiting the location of a random encounter you will not be able to return there i talk to I guess not. I only have one option. Well, actually, no, I only have one option. Oh, okay. Uh, there was a branch in the path, but it did not let me take the branch. So I'm guessing this is the way to the branch. Carve my name into your flesh! Uh, hello, tigers. So you're focused on the dwarf, you two are focused on me. Oh great, I'm in the front of the party. Amazing. I probably should have organized that. It depends a bit on just how freeform things are, i.e. can you actually shift things into actually just being an evil campaign? Um... Yes, I believe so. Um, so... I mean, this game was heavily inspired by Baldur's Gate in those games, and you could literally play an evil character in those campaigns. So I'm assuming that's the case in this, since it lets you actually select evil alignment and doesn't lock you to neutrals or good alignments. You need to run away? Also, I don't know that that's how that works. I mean, hypnotism would work. Uh, you two need to back off. Well, uh, actually, you can go here. Okay, that was easy. You deserved it. Did you get your spell? Hello, spell. Nice. Okay, that was that was waste. Uh, rest. Let's see. That's interesting. So we're gonna get around bonfire, press the manage button, hunting. Camp camouflage. Cooking. Uh, and special ability. That would prevent the okay. See, well, resting your camp may be attacked by enemies after dealing with them. Click on the campfire again to continue resting. 
Interesting. Uh, okay, so positioning is better now. Is there anything in this area? Not okay. Uh, what about that? Can you go back? Is there anything back? I don't know how much there is to explore in the uh, encounter area. Some I don't remember how it was in Baldur's Gate, even if I'm being honest. Looks like not really. Okay. All right. I, I, I don't really know how to, who to do what. A night encounter occurs in Asgard makes a perception roll. This guard to awaken the party for the fight. Okay, I see. Uh, cooking. Beneficial effect. Uh, fatigue is worn off, spells are recovered. I don't know what I'm clicking on up here. Can I not change which character is doing what? I guess not. I am, I feel like missing something, but. Someday. I will be as famous as Anami Bellavera herself. No, even more famous. <laughs> Hoping How I do I break out of this? Long. This? Ah, I see. Four rations, an excellent hearty meal, and everything is good. Nice. Trail me. I'm Lindsay, the author of the book, you my dear reader, holding your hands. I once studied... Okay. I could go back. I assume I'm supposed to go continue going this way, though. I don't even know. Aha. Success. I might. I don't know how much I'm going to continue tonight. I also still don't know if I'm going to be playing this, continue playing this on stream or not. Uh, okay. We probably shouldn't be approaching the outpost at night, but okay. Hello? Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun! Okay, stop. What is this <laughs> language? Bandit. Cressel. Cressel. Oleg. Aha. Demand this week's tax and some beer. And where's that pretty wife of yours, Oleg? She should sh serve us dinner. Quiet down, dimwit. Oleg, we're just here for the stag lord's tax. Hand over the money and we'll be on our way. Requires evil. Specific alignment required. Interesting. You want to drink some of my blood, too? I'm sick of you. You're like locusts. You think you control everything around us because you put up that painted rag of yours? You come here, squeeze us dry, and come again... Oleg, a large man with a rough face, stops talking when he notices you. I'm not neutral. So I basically, I guess I s you can choose these if you're like half of the alignment or something. I'm not interested in bloodshed, but I won't let Bruv your this man be on your way and I'll let you go in peace. What's going on here? My test is clear. This land of bandits. I'll start right now. 
All right, we'll leave. But what makes you think we won't just return with greater numbers? Okay, so do you, would you prefer I kill you right now? Why would we leave when we've got easy pickings from rest off behind before us? We'll rip out your guts and empty your pockets. Okay, well that makes that easy. What yeah! for Gollum? Oh well, I'm apparently not stealth. Tear them up! You go into the front, and you do that. Um. Am I good? Is that is that we good? I think so. Nice. Uh, Let the attack so commence. There, and you can switch targets. Yeah. Oh, she, did she cleave? There's definitely someone hit, uh, hidden. Wow, critical hit twenty. Why is the, why am I fighting the Hulk? Level up. Amiri got a lore nature check. On what? I don't know. Oh, bandit information. Ah, that's pretty cool. After gaining a certain amount of experience, a character will achieve a level up. This allows them to gain a new class or increase their level in one of their taking classes. This also provides other benefits such as increasing the character's total health points. I mean, there's someone stealth around here. Um, this is probably not worth taking. Although, nope, not worth taking. Gate's hinges are deformed and the deadbolt is broken. It seems someone didn't want this gate to close. Step, step, step. Like, there's someone invisible here. Hello, cat. Like, we know there's someone invisible here. Let's say we ran away. Which is possible. Take that, you scoundrels! Or, like, shakes his fist. But now... The girl got away, a plague on her. She's certain to complain to the stag lord. They came before to collect taxes, but this time they'll come to punish treason. Now what are we to do? If only I could send Svetlana somewhere safe and show those rats what's what. Dove, why are you here? I told you to stay hidden. It's all over. I saw it. I just needed to be sure you were all right. My name is Svetlana. I'm sorry your arrival to our trading post turned out so unwelcomely. Why would I immediately wait for the attack? Let's get to the point. Who are they? They're the Staglord's gang. That's who. Those, these lands teem with bandits, like bedbugs in, in a beggar's hut. And you just stirred them up. They have a camp not far from here. I expect they'll return in full force in half a day, maybe less. Uh, interesting. There are options here. Lawful evil. <laughs> so you, you can, like, randomly, like... I guess this is not necessarily implied that I'm attacking her, but that was that was my initial implication. Let me as much as you know how many bandits are there, what do they want? Uh, they think they own the land, sometimes only five or six times, sometimes it's a whole gang. What, that, what, does, what does a whole gang mean? That is un, uh, unuseful. Not helpful. Charge an arm and a leg as taxes. They call the executions punishment for treason. Um, I guess I'll go with the lawful good option of these options. Nice. We have to hide Svetlana. Please don't argue, Dove. Uh, we also need to decide on a plan. Go ahead and look around. There may be some tools we can use for this battle. There's some pretty solid traps around. Some tar and a box of alchemist fire, it looks like. 
Alka's fire can put it by the gate, light it off with a burning arrow when those bandits are nearby. E... Well, that could set the post on fire. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I'm... Okay, A, you shouldn't be firing a crossbow to try and snipe it. You should be using a regular bow, because crossbows are not intended to be very accurate. I look around. And don't leave the post. Uh, also, I have some leveling up to do. Yes, barbarian. Abilities? Okay, no. I mean, I guess I should just max out my eyes what she already has. Use a bit. Wait, I get to choose an ability. Interesting. Beast Totem Lesser. Okay, hold on. Let's read upside bottom up. 10 foot enhancement bonus. Reckless stand. Wait, okay. Are these. Let's see. Gains the benefit of rage powers only while raging. I see. These powers. Okay. Reckless stance. Plus one bonus on attack rolls, but minus one to AC. Plus one to attack rolls and thrown weapon attack rolls. Wait. Wait. How is this not just better than this? I don't understand. Hi, Kaito. It goes well. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing my first level ups. It's bonus. How? Wait, how, I don't understand how this is just not like basically strictly better than this. Guarded stance. Beast totem letter. Let's sir. Yes, fun. Indeed. Totem range powers grant powers related to a theme. A barbarian cannot select more than one group of totem range powers. For example, a barbarian who selects a photo. Uh, is there any way for me to see what all of them are? Uh, show them available. Yes, there is, in fact. Beast totem. Also, natural armor bonus. That's pretty good. Uh, deadly accuracy. Lethal stance. She applies double lethal stance as bonus. Immune to shaken and frightened conditions. Reckless stance. Whoa. Okay, well, I see. That makes more sense now. Uh, what other level fours are there? And do they have any requirements? Um, not really. If you use part of a full attack, the base attack bonus minus five. It's by hits. It deals one d four. Uh, I don't really know that I want any of these. I'm gonna make a full attack at the char end of a charge. For her claws, but well, she's using like a, a two-handed weapon. I assume she can't use the claws if she's using a weapon. Which kind of makes Beast Totem lesser and not spectacular. Regular Beast Totem, on the other hand, is very good. So it's almost worth taking Beast Totem lesser just to get Beast Totem. However, I kind of just want to take Lethal Stance because it's like free. Uh, okay. I'm really bad. I'm going to be really bad at using these abilities, if I'm being honest. I probably should have just gone with the knife, uh, rogue, to be honest. I can respec at some point. What are you? You're a cleric. I see. Do you even get anything at this level? Doesn't have the following features, atheism. Useful, uh, not a great feature for a, uh cleric to have persuasion what is your charisma minus two mm. or no it's plus zero knowledge world 
Lin Lindsay's good at a lot of stuff. That's very convenient. You should probably have lore religion. Uh, of these options. Um, I guess I should just stick with what I have. Oh, Lord Nature. Mm. Do I have any intelligence either? No. All right, let's just stick with this stuff. All right, let me up up uh, level up my character first. Uh, plus four points. Are there any of these that I should take? Maybe mobility. And knowledge world. Persuasion. I, I kind of wish I had better persuasion. However. Trickery and stealth. Hmm. Trickery and stuff. Uh, I get new spells that I'm probably never going to use. I already have shield, right? What? Why is shield an option? It's not an option. Fair enough. That's why it's that's why it's not an option. Uh hmm. Expeditious retreat. That has potential future usage. In Greece? Mm. I don't know what would be most useful. Uh, let's go with mage armor. Having mage armor and shield is probably useful at, at later levels. And what about Lindsay? You get a bard talent and well versed. Ooh, she can, oh, she should probably get mobility upgrade too. Just because she's so good at it. It would kind of be a waste to not upgrade that. Mm, persuasion, I need badly. Knowledge and this. All right, bard talent. Canny Observer, plus four for perception. Uh, combat trick, wait. Can I refer that? Gains a bonus combat feat. Fast stealth. Whoa, I almost fell. <laughs> I panicked. I wish I could put fast stealth on my uh, rogue. That would be useful. Skill focus, intimidating prowess. Weapon focus, really? Weapon focus is the recommendation? Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that. What are the options for combat trick? Oh. Wait. Bonus combat feed, I see. What are your... Hold on, what are your stats? 16 decks and you don't have weapon finesse? I guess if she's using ranged weapons. That makes sense. And in that case, I should probably be taking point by shot. Mm, is this correct? Sure. Let's say it. It is. Two spells. One new spell. Uh, I already have cure light wounds and ear piercing scream. Summon monster one. Probably. I mean, hypnotism's not terrible. Feather step. Sure.
What's this? Aha. Forwards! No backwards, backwards! I wanna explore more before I do that. It's built hard near the trading post entrance, so okay. Nice. Free loot. What's in wait for me there? Silver spoon. I'm just looting this outpost before I help defend it. Potatoes. Surprisingly, it contains potatoes. Step, step, step. Can I go back there? I cannot. Time becomes Let's just do this while I'm over here. Oh wow. I, I wasn't sure Try if it was actually gonna show up or not. Woken? I'm not sure who that is. What's this? Okay. Wait, did you move are those the bodies that I killed? Did you move them out of the way? What is this? Is it a well? It is. Ooh. Heavy crossbow. 1d10. Uh, okay. You can use this heavy crossbow. You can use this heavy crossbow. Hmm. That's tempting. What crossbow was I using before? Light crossbow? It doesn't say anything about uh, time to attack or anything. So I have no good way of knowing whether it actually takes longer to attack with or not. I feel like I should have the short bow and Lindy should have the heavy crossbow. Uh, you probably could have used some potions. And so could you. What are my other potions? Acid flask? Alchemist fire. Potion of remove by... Wait, what's... Uh, let's go ahead and give Lindy one of these and... I will take the other one. I will take the fire one. What should we move by on this? A large person. You should probably have the potion of moderate wounds and enlarged potion. Enlarged potion. Person! Words! I swear I can say them. Dark skin. Uh, I have bracers that are, need to be identified, right? What happened to those? Where did they go? Aha, there they are. Braces of armor plus one. What is your armor? A 17 versus 15. You probably should have these. Why did your armor not go up? I see. That's why. So I am the one that needs them. Fair enough. I didn't take off the ring. I wonder if that's going to be problematic or not. Step, step, step. I, I think it would be pretty cool if it actually ended up being problematic that I kept the ring on. Despite being informed that it was like a signet ring for this other... Uh, group. Alright, save. Um, what now? Oh, wait, What's I need to do wait this. for me there, I wonder? 
Where does aha? There's the that is where they got sent. Let's get uh What can you tell me about that man who ran away from the post and came back? Token. Sells potions, lives out in the forest. Tell me more about yourself. Okay. I'd like to see your goods. Whoa, okay. Time to sell a bunch of stuff. Merchant pay well for it. I don't know why a merchant would pay well for a rusty horseshoe, but So much junk. I assume the gems aren't okay. I assume the gems aren't useful for anything else since it says a merchant would pay well for it. I'm operating under the assumption that anything that says a merchant would pay well for it is designed to be sold, and that's it. That may be a mistake, but I feel like that's a reasonable assumption to make. Ring of protection plus one for two thousand. That would make sense. I agree. However, it doesn't necessarily make sense. I would love a bag of holding, but I'm a little ways off from that. There are plus one weapons that are expensive. Um, let's sort by price and descending order. Motion of remove blindness. Oh, I have a master work like mace. This probably hold on. That's probably good for him. A flail 1d8. Um mm, not really actually. Maybe I go ahead and sell it. I that's you're the wrong person, but apparently it doesn't matter that I talk to the wrong person. Ever burning torch, I'll hold on to I assume that'll be relevant to something. I'm still at medium encumbrance. Weight in descending order. The travel rations are 10 pounds each. So all these health potions. I don't know. I don't know how much Forwards. being at medium and nope. matters. Backwards. Backwards. All right. I guess I'm ready. Why are these not the, the heroics you were t intending to talk about? Time passed. Six hours, 40 minutes. The fact that it wasn't a round number, I wonder if that means that I actually could have... Okay. Wow, that was useful. Can you bless me? Yes, you can. You should probably go forward up here. I guess you should probably raise, right? Never mind. You should not go up there. Uh, you go ahead and inspire courage. Oh, you could summon a monster. Right there. Hypnotism. Uh, you are all doing things. Although your doing of things is not really that useful. Okay. 
Okay, you need to charge, I guess, this guy. What just happened? Uh, okay. Nice hypnotism. All right, you can attack. Oh, go into range. You should also probably go into range, right? Eh. May I see your entrails, please? Jesus, that's that does not sound like a good character. Are you attacking? Okay, you are attacking. Nice. Repent. Any last wishes? Okay. This is where I step. Can I not control this character? Can I not control the monster? Ah, okay. Now it's controlling the monster. You should not go towards those traps, please. Thank you. Nice. They, they, wow, they have like nothing. Composite longbows sell really well, though. Hap Spidon. That is presumably all they have, though. Basically. Is this one, this one does loot differently. And he has a composite longbow as well. Nice. Oh, there is stuff that can still be looted? Oh, never mind. All right, party up. Let's talk to Oleg. You rats got what you deserve. Now they'll know better than to treat honest people like cattle. We should call Boken out, Bakken out before he freezes in those bushes. Now, my lady, head on up to the guest rooms on the second floor. You deserve some rest after such a battle. I need to clean things up. This is for your efforts. Now, don't offend me by trying to turn this down. I'm just take it. An honest fight deserves an honest reward. If it were a more common practice in this world, I think life would be so much better. Okay, still, okay. We'll talk tomorrow. Fair enough. There's stuff I could loot. What if it counts as stealing? Let's see. It depends on how they decide to go about doing this. I don't know if the fact that it's red means it's stealing or... Okay. I guess it's fine for you to take all of their food. Time becomes distant. Okay. It seems flawed because I'm going to sell it back to them, but okay. Ocean of Vanish. Guide for Travelers, Hunters, and Explorers of the River Kingdoms, Volume 5, Monsters and Beasts, Willow Wisp. Uh, leads travelers to certain death. The agonizing fear of their victims is Monsters' Nourishing Dinner. Electrical Protection. Werewolf. Uh, silver blades, yeah, okay. Primals, don't fight it. It's extremely dangerous, but if a life is at stake, resort to cold steel. Uh, 
Uh, do they want me to? Okay, I see. They want me to go actually click on the bed. You wake up from a nap. Oh, okay. Almost all night long. In it, you saw a wall of unnaturally thick fog that surrounded you, slowly moving closer and closer. Quick look out the window, and then you find that the way fog was not a figment of your imagination, not a dream, and then... Hear me. Please hear me. Half transparent Can outline of a beautiful me? nymph. <coughs> Please. I forget what the difference between a nymph and a dryad is. I always mix them up. I think dryad is a tree spirit? I don't know what a nymph is. Seems that only you can see or hear the nymph. Who are you? Okay, that would be two would be weird. Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. The bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. A defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. Aid, you for me? Salvation. We the have stag lord? Someone named the stag lord. It seems like they'd be like a barbarian or someone him. living off the land. The one you call the stag lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the stag lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his That's servants. weird. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. I guess the barbarians are not necessarily good. There are bar bad barbarians in um, Ari Salvatore's world. I will vanish. Mostly the they're neutral, usually. Of light fades Chaotic dust. neutral, but... A sailor is a yes. dog. It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. But while responsible, he did not create this affliction. The work of a powerful the druid. Work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade, but even I was unable to defeat him. This fog. In shrouds, in tangles, suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. Wasn't it created My by the giant? Powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house, and it echoes. Somewhere the in this forest, that is amazing power. directions. The stag lord and his druid were there. The fog hides oh, okay. this place from me. I see. But I can point you to the bandits' to camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. What echo? Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again. And you will be able to easily find your... I don't I believe understand. in fate, stranger. Well, but wait, I'm hold on. Didn't you come to me? How is it? How would it be a coincidence if you specifically came to search me out? Or were you just searching <laughs> someone random out? Safe location it is a sort of a headquarters. With such locations, companions don't follow you around and will go about their own business. You can speak with them freely to get to know them better. Interesting. Wait, does this mean that I can use this as a stash? Personal stash, oh. I kind of want to hold on to a composite longbow. Uh, and I will use this to hold my books. Um, Everything else I will hold on to? I'm at heavy capacity right now. What? How much does this weigh? Not much. Hello, Lindsay. Just a moment. How should I put this? Oh, I know. Oh, hi. Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Oh, God, there's a lot of dialogue to go through here. 
All right, I'm gonna go through all this dialogue and then sell stuff or buy stuff and then finish up. What do you want to know? Where are you from? I'm from all over. Haha. -ha. I was actually born in Galt in such a tiny village that's not even on the maps. If it weren't for my teacher, I'd still be living there. Milking goats, weeding turnips, swilling homebrew, having babies, and using books only as kindling. Who is your teacher? The true saint. He was once an important person in the capital at the Church of Shellen. But he got in trouble with the authorities and went on a self-imposed exile to the tiniest, most godforsaken priestess village he could find. The one where I was born. He wanted to open a school, but the villagers wouldn't let him. You can heal us all you like, but no putting any ideas into our children's heads. It's all only distract them from their work, but he did teach me on the sly. He taught me how to read, how to write, and he gave me books, poems, legends. He's the one who taught, told me about the Arch Archknights of Avistan. Avistan, uh, okay. And when I told him I was going on a journey, he gave a magic ring so that Shellen would protect me from harm. Archknights of Avistan, who are they? Oh, you haven't heard of them? How can you be a heroine, heroine without heroine? Heroine. Without knowing one of the most epic stories in the history of stories, they... No, I won't spoil anything. You should just read about them yourself. Every single chapter. Their adventures are what gave me the idea of going on a heroic quest and writing about them it to begin with. And now look at me. Here I am, on a heroic quest. How did you become a bard? When I realized there was nothing for me at home besides more radish patches, I decided to run away. A traveling book peddler, Tessie the Quill, happened across our village. Well, I stuck to her like a burr and wouldn't let go until she agreed to take me as an apprentice. Together we traveled everywhere. And then I found out about the Great Academy of Grand Arts in Pitax, and I thought, well, I love reading stories, so I surely learn, so I can surely learn to write them too. I enrolled on my first try, and they even gave me a scholarship. Then they expelled me. Aha, but, but that's okay. They already taught me all the important stuff. I want to know how she got expelled. You worship Shella? Mm, yes. Why are your clothes so messy? Forget it, I can't waste money on looks. I'd rather buy books instead. In a hundred years, so she's a, she's a bookworm. I see. You aren't going to ask whether the author had holes in her sleeves. You come from Patax, right? Tell me about it. So, oh, I love Patax, even though they kicked me out. A joyful place. Why is why one of the questions not asking how she got kicked out? Oh, actually, Patax has always been one huge nest of thieves. Bandits, river pirates, smugglers, fences, card sharps. It's always card sharps. Isn't the term card sharks? I, I'm curious about that. It's always been home for the likes of them, but that was before Irovedi became king. With him, a whole different life began there. Irovedi always wanted to make history, but not as another bandit with a crown, but that's exactly what he is, haha. <laughs> He wanted to be glorified through the centuries as a great patron of the arts. So he built the Academy of Grand Arts and spent lots of gold to assemble the best artists, poets, and musicians. Of course, the very best ones refused to go, but he got what he wanted in a way. If Patax was once a, just a booze barn for thieves, now it's a cabaret. What do you know of him? He won his crown in a game of cards, which says as much about Patax as it does about him. He's fiendishly clever. Some cheats I know told me that the moment he appeared, he started to pull. He started to pulling. Off. He started pulling off. Such schemes, the old city masters just scratch their heads. With him in charge, gold flooded into Patax. He's also incredibly, um, incredibly, unimaginably, fantastically decadent and conceited. Being drunk with whores at the pub—that's not Lord of Urvadi's style. Oh no, he aims higher. Dressing up like a male Calistria. With a golden cod piece and holding a three-week orgy, with dancing on the rooftops, raids, public executions, and a contest for the best ode to the great unrivaled king. <coughs> Calistra is the goddess of lust and revenge. He also likes singing, and he orders his guards to make the citizens gather for his shows. Tell me about the academy you studied at. He has no taste at all whatsoever. He likes his art loud, bright, grandiose, and most importantly, glorifying his royal highness. He picked, kicked out the best charcoal artist because he didn't wish to spend money on gray scribbles. He sacked the masterful flute player from Tian Zia for playing too quietly, and said ordered them to open a kettle drum class. 
He even he even ordered the academy to expel me and for what an innocent limerick i need to know the the limerick oh oh that's not where i meant to do would you like to go back i'd like to return but on one condition if they threw out three quarters of the professors who teach there now and returned all the ones they banished if you ask me i'm proud to have been expelled if my art was to Rovetti's liking then i would have reason to be ashamed i need to know the limerick though God, there's a lot of dialogue. I don't know that I can vocalize all of it without destroying my voice. The book about you and your adventures. I'm writing the whole truth, just as it happened. Well, the whole artistic truth. You know, no glory, no story. Why are you writing it? What's the point? Person is a storytelling animal. Am animal. <laughs> animal. The world does not consist of things, all these woods, seas, and cities, it consists of stories about those things. The stories we tell to ourselves and to each other. Centuries will pass and there will be no me and no you. All your subjects will be long gone, but you and I will live on in people's memories and influence their deeds. No offense, but your command of language is not that good. That's kind of rude. The truth doesn't hurt me, but do you think? who do you think most? my most severe critic is? That's right, it's me. This is my first real book, and I have much to learn. But don't you worry, I will do your feats justice. If I put my foot in my mouth here and there, then we can print a second edition, revised and corrected. Your book is full of inconsistencies. Well, yes, I can admit that. Sometimes one has to bend a few details for the sake of dramatic effect. It's called Poetic Truth. I read about everything as I saw it from my own eyes, even parts of the adventure that I wasn't around for. As if I saw it from my own eyes. That makes more sense. Clearly, my command of the language is also not good. But I do always carefully question everyone who is with you at the time. Think of it as a general picture. In the end, you, the heroine of the book, and I am just a storyteller. So what kind of character am I? Truth be told, I was a little afraid of meeting a real whole hero. In books, they're all protectors of the weak and poor, but what about in real life? But you eased all my fears with two shakes of a tail. You're a true heroine from just like in the legends my new fear is that in a hundred years my readers will say that people like you never existed but i'm writing the truth you are like a force of nature wild and unpredictable you're full of surprises i doubt i can make up a protagonist like you even if i tried very hard <coughs> let me eat a cough drop before i continue reading this out how do you feel about me reading your work in progress? Well, these are only drafts. Of course you're welcome to read them. I won't change a single letter even if you don't like them. Oh. Of course it's a book about you, but it's my book. Understood? Awful good. As long as you write the truth, I have no objection. Write whatever you wish. I doubt you would defame me or, for that matter, overpraise. Write whatever you wish, it's your right, but I shall decide if your book is allowed on my lands. What the fuck? How oh, is that lawful neutral? That's okay, that's a little weird. I'll be remembered for my deeds, not for your book. I have no interest in censorship. Any stories about me are welcome as long as they're interesting. I'd rather have a say in how my bag if it turns out. Of course you can write whatever you want, but you know what happens to writers who displease their rulers. I mean, chaotic good or chaotic neutral is what I would go for. Let's go for chaotic good. Thank you for your trust. I was not set out to please you, of course, but I still hope that you'll like my book as much as my other readers. Let's see the quill. What's the deal with the ring you always wear on your fingers? She already said what that was. It teleports me to a safe spot. But please don't be angry with me if I suddenly disappear from a fight. I'll wait for you here, I promise. Leave okay, don't say don't say that one. So don't leave without me. I'd still be sleep. But if I wanted to stay cooped up in a dusty room, I'd still be sleeping through lectures at the academy. No real eight eyes. Who are you? The elf looks straight at you through the tangled hair falling over her face. Hey, you're my you're an adventurer, right? Seeking your fortune in stolen lands? You aren't the only one of your kind here. Take my advice, keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the ones who call yourselves your friends are more dangerous than your enemies. Who are you? 
Enorial Eight Eyes. Once upon a time, I was famous through a Absalom. Enorial Eight Eyes of the Reckless Six. Well, glory passes quickly. A few miserable decades later, no one recognizes you on the street anymore. What a shame. What are you doing here? I sit here watching for adventurers who are in need of help. Uh, they have brave hearts but shallow pockets. Little gold would be a welcome change for them. I can send them a message and they will come right... Oh. Oh. I'm guessing this is might be a character from the first game and they can teleport in allies from the first game or something. Okay. Uh, this is a lot of dialogue. What? I can summon the tutors from the Pathfinder Society who can retrain you and your companions. I could retrain myself right now. The first three times you request your training. Yes. Me. Although, mmm. Mmm. No, nah, never mind. I'll stick. I'll stick with what I am right now. I see Lin, Lin, Lin the dancing in the back. I might change depending on which companions I end up with. Why are you called Eight Eyes? I see. You are really good at seeing. Seems I've outlived my nickname. I've been drinking so much lately. It's best I don't test my skills too often. Where were you when the trading post was attacked? I'm curious. Got lost in the mist. It should go easier on the drink, but you don't you imagine I'd be scared of a good fight? If only I'd known I was missing all the action. Famous Pathfinder here in the middle of nowhere? Why? You wanna know how one could exchange the life of a Pathfinder for this sorry drunken rat hole? You lose all your friends because of one scumbag and then you'll understand. I was the only one to return from the final campaign of the Reckless Six, and whatever is left of me can't be called a seeker anymore. I feel like this must be a reference to the first game. Here's the story. Our leader of Vermouths was the best of us. Wise, brave, friends with everyone. One of those friends, Ad Adivian Adressant, sent him a disturbing letter. He'd stumbled upon mention of some ancient books in the art of necromancy. Secrets like those are best left hidden forever. Trust me, I've seen what that kind of magic can do. Volume well, supposedly hidden in the catacombs of Gallowspire. Books should be retrieved. Um, but everything turned out to be much more complicated. We barely made it through the Witchgate Forest. All those terrible living trees, undead druids, and their arches of bone. It was a miracle we managed to make it out alive. we chose chosen Ren Church to stop at. It was marked as safe enough to hole up in and lick our wounds. Vermont was the first to perish. He was attacked by one of the monsters hiding in the stables. It tossed him about like a feather and threw him down an ancient well. Shat Oka for a long time. I want to know more about the Pathfinder Society. What is the purpose? School Adventures. We search for those who are eager to test their skills and we educate them. Also publish skills with books. And exchange in experience, share knowledge, and keep careful records. All sorts of adventures. All races, religions, and beliefs. And adventure captains direct Pathfinders to their goals from all across all corners of the world. Who's decided society supports? No one in particular. You're in your story. What happened in Ren Church? Interesting. Would you like to join me? I uh, know I've got things to do already. Okay, no, thank you. I was I was wondering if it was gonna be free or not, but nope, two thousand gold. I can't think of you uh if you have a moment I have a request. Very personal request and maybe not important enough for your time. But the first time the Stag Lord's thugs came here demanding money, they also took my wedding ring. Just tore it off my hand. Just a trinket really, but it meant so much to me. Remember every moment of the day every, wow words. Every moment of the day, Ola came to me, that ring in hand, to ask if I'd marry him. 
I was standing in a fancy dress on the stairs of my father's home, fearing that I'd misheard something or that I'd say something stupid and everyone around would laugh. If you happen to find my ring about among the bandit's possessions, please bring it back to me. It's easy to recognize. My name is engraved inside the band. There is one more thing. Among the bandits, there's a dark-haired woman who wields dual axes. She's not bad in a fight. In fact, she can be extremely dangerous and cruel. But please, I beg you, show her mercy if you have the chance. I would be happy to help. Tell me about yourself. We didn't realize how dangerous it was here. Um. Okay, so you, you fucked up, is what you're saying. <laughs> you probably should not have established this. You tell me about the Stag Lord. He's not just some average bandit. If no one puts a stop to him, it turns stolen lands into his personal kingdom. A kingdom of fear and oppression. It'll be a kingdom of lawlessness. I like adventures, but I definitely prefer the ones that involve stopping villains and helping people. Fear always follows power. It would be naive to think that Stag Lord is so much different than any other ruler. I mean... Debatable. The night... The... Not... Nyad. Nyad is a different forest spirit. Nymph. Uh, seemed to imply otherwise, so that doesn't really make sense. Knife, you either inspire fear or cower from it. I would prefer to be the one who's feared. No. We will stop the villains. Uh, is there anyone to talk to in here still? Is that it? Looks like it. Oh, okay. I can talk to the... Alright, I wasn't sure if I could or not. Step, step. Where are, are all my companions? Oh, wait, what? Did I miss this before? I did miss this before, apparently. Hello, what are you doing? Oh. I thought maybe you were killing a, a horse. Where is the horse? I only see a dog. Trail me. Is it in here? It's probably in this, like, this like, barn. Hello, Miri. We're gonna talk? Alright, spill it. I'm listening. We're just lit talking. You don't like it? Depends what we're gonna talk about. If it's about monsters or swords or scars, I approve. That's good. If you're gonna ask questions like why and what for and how, screw this. Or you got even harder ones. Tell me about yourself. Um, first, I'm a barbarian. I'm strong. Um, I grew up in the realm of the Mammoth Lords. I left my tribe of six bears, and I like fights. Uh, you're quite a good fighter. Quite good, huh? Compared to who? If I was a crappy male, I'd fight better? Is that what you say? What? That was random. Or you say I could be better. Like, go get some training, Amiri, right? I meant exactly what I said. You're quite a good fighter. Don't raise your voice to me again. You're very good in a fight. You're an excellent warrior. I'm just giving you compliments. That's all. True. I fight good. That's what I do best. What's it like to be a barbarian in the Six Bears tribe? Our people are big and strong. We can cut a monster in half with one swing. We can walk three days and nights with no rest. We can eat a whole fried aurochs. I should do a lot of training? Nope. No training. Boys, well, the Six Bears got the training. All I could do was watch. And you know what? They were still crap even after all that training because I kicked their butts hard. Animals, bandits, monsters all thought they were stronger than me. Idiots. Because if you start a fight, you think you can win. You think you're stronger than your enemy. I defeated them all. See all the scars on my face? I didn't, there's not that many scars on your face. What does the realm of the Mammoth Lords look like? Oh, huge and freezing. No place for weaklings. Tribes hunt Arox herds to survive. Arox are fast, so tribe follows herds for days just to not die of hunger. If you are weak, you stay behind and die in the snow. This tribe cannot stop. Also, there are giants and mammoths. Sometimes demons come too. Ah, and the mastodons. And the saber tooth diamond. Tigers. You would survive, I think. For a few days, ha. Huh. Why'd you leave your tribe? Because they were assholes, all of them. Men were cowards and scoundrels, and women were scared like sheep. Men think that men there think no girl can be a fighter because they are weak. They are afraid a woman can beat them. 
And females just nod. Go sow hides, cook meat, watch kids. That's what they always say. But I'm a warrior, damn it. I won't cook hides. Cook hides. That's okay. Okay, I see. You, it's intentional. I won't cook hides and watch meat. I told them so. I went hunting with men. And what did I get? Still the same. You're a woman. You stay home. Even gave me a nickname. The Soft Chieftain. Like a warrior woman was a funny joke. Damn, I even went to hunt those shit-faced frost giants and they're... they're... So I left. Cowards, scoundrels, and sissies they were. That's why. You're rather rude that you know. No. Thanks for telling me. Let's talk about something else. Wait, hold up. So why did you leave your tribe? And what's the story about the frost giants? I told you already, they were assholes. They treat women like sheep, not fighters. As for giants, I'll tell you later. Someday, maybe. It's a formidable sword, but it's not just a simple weapon, is it? You bet it's not simple. Look at how big it is. It's very large. Oh, that explains why. The sword belonged to a real blasted frost giant. I killed the beast and took this looker for myself. Fits me perfectly, my damn trophy. Talking, talking. When will we do some monster killing instead? What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Is there anyone over here? Hello, rat. Looks like just the people by the fire. Talk to Harim. Eh? What? Ah, it's you, Kendra. Did I startle you? I'm sorry. Well, that doesn't matter. I'm just contemplating the futility of existence and the worthlessness of the universe. The ways of Grotus are great. Alright, who is Grotus? The god of the end times. A sentient and cruel moonlit that looks down upon the boneyard and waits for the last living soul to die. Interesting. Tell me about your past. My life is divided into two parts. The first was filled with blind wandering, doubts, and attempts to serve Torag. Who's Torag? Father of creation. Dwarven god of the forge. The second part began when I accepted Grotus into my soul and received a clear vision of the world. What exactly would you like to know? Where are you from? Story begins in Lared, a city of dwarven clerics and acolytes. They serve Torag and the other dwarven gods. Torag's brothers, Angrad and Magram, Torag's wife, Fulgrit, her daughter, his daughter, Boka, his sons, Grudnar, Coles, and Trude, and also Torag's sister, Drangvet. I wouldn't be surprised if they built a temple to Torag's pet dog. Sorry, I let myself get carried away. Lared is the second largest dwarven city in the Five Kings Mountains. Built up around numerous temple caverns, which serve as places of worship for all the dwarven gods. Many pilgrims from every corner of Galarian come to Lorad to pay, pray to their gods. Some remain to live there. The city is simply imbued with faith. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting a cleric. It's no surprise, inspired by the art of the city, that I decided as a young boy to dedicate all my efforts to becoming a cleric of Torag. You once tried to serve Torag? Oh, wait. I misclicked. Not just tried, it was a burning passion. I craved it by day and dreamt of it by night. You see, Kendra, from my first days, I felt the presence of the god at my back. I heard his whispers and felt his power. Through so the nature of this power was unclear to me. I thought Torag himself was trying to speak to me, and I did all I could to try and understand his words. Oh, what a naive fool I was. I had no idea that Torag, the uncompromising, conceited god, glamorized by all dwarves, was capable of betrayal. He turned away from me, Kendra. He left me in the hour when I put all my hopes in him and desperately needed his support. Torag is the god of craftsmanship, so every follower, especially the clerics, must smith their own suit of armor. The day when this work is finished is like the second birthday for a dwarf. He's newly born in the eyes of Torag. My second birthday never came. I couldn't make armor, not even a sword, not even a simple nail. My hammer smashed my fingers and fell on my feet. Molten iron burned my hands. The clerics laughed as they healed me. They used to say I was cursed by Torag, so finally I gave up any attempt to please the betrayer god. 
Even if he really rejected you, is that enough reason to leave your homeland? Apparently so. Even the owner of the cheapest pub on the road would laugh at me when, when he put the mugs in front of me. I could still hear the divine whisper behind my back. It was yet faint. It took a long time before I could hear it clearly, but having heard it once, I could never forget it. It was clear that none of Lared's deities favored me, so I left the Five Kings Mountains and went out searching. I didn't think dwarves ever worshipped Grotus. How did you learn about him? Oh, but that blessed day became the beginning of a new life. Alone and abandoned by all, I spent many dull hours in a filthy tavern by the roadside. And that was the moment when the whisper from my god became more clear. It was like he was calling me. At last, my sufferings had come to an end. It was a miracle, Kindra, and I had paid full price for it with my tournaments. I couldn't control myself. I walked out of the tavern and straight into the nearby forest, and there I found the ruined temple of Erodin, the lost god. Several figures clad in robes were holding a silent service there, a service to a god I know nothing of. None minded when I stood beside them. For the first time in my life, I felt myself at home. My new brothers told me they were clerics of Grotus, the god of end times. Interesting. Wait, so you couldn't even make a simple nail and you blame Torag? Are you suggesting my problem was not a curse and just my own ability, inability to work with metal? Or maybe you're saying that I was just lazy? You're a fool if you think so. An arrogant fool. Ignorant fool. Not arrogant. Have you ever met a dwarf who can't handle a smith's hammer? Even our children craft knives. No, no, no. Torag is the cause of my sufferings. Betrayer God deliberately cursed me just to make a laughing stock of me. But I won't let myself get angry at you, Kindra. You are an ignorant and blind soul, and my aim is to guide you through this dying world that marches towards its end. I will open your eyes or die trying. Grotus will be pleased with either outcome. He's a cultist. Oh my god, there's so much dialogue. I'd like to learn more about dwarves. Five Kings Mountains. South Pier. No unity among the dwarves. I mean, that explains why there's five kingdoms. Sky Citadel of High Helm. The dwarves always lived on the surface? Oh no, eons ago they lived beneath the surface. Quest for the Sky. Journey was long and hard. Long and bloody, not hard. Many dwarves perished on the way, others turned back. Sky Citadels. Built by the ancient dwarves who finally reached the surface. Ten citadels. Ten citadels! The citadels crumbled and the orcs' sworn enemies trampled their blessed streets and ruined the gorgeous palaces of the ancient kings. I held is the jewel of the citadels that remain. I wonder if any others remain other than High Hell. Oh, you're useful. Have you ever regretted your decision to abandon Torag and start worshipping Grotus instead? Torag betrayed me. It's my swords, but they broke in the hilt. It was Grotus who opened my eyes. The end time is near, Kindra. Oh, he's a doomsayer. Torag's curse is only half the reason for my failure. The other half is the blessing of Grotus. Let's talk about your god, Grotus. What Grotus is teaching about, in a nutshell, is the end of all that exists. Everything is, will go away. I must watch her. Locked away by Pharasma. The goddess of birth, death, and prophecy. From her boneyard, he watches over the world, knowing the time for the final reaping shall come. He's the bloated moon hanging in the sky. He's the harbinger of the last days. She is stronger than Grotus? Of course she is stronger, for now. Grotus is weaker than Phrasma and many other gods. I'd be a fool if I tried to claim otherwise. If he was stronger, then end times would have already come, wouldn't they? But the powers of other gods fade away. These clerics should speak with their gods. He doesn't speak with his clerics. Grotus doesn't need any clerics. He only allows his whispers to be heard and only by those who are dying to hear them. Interesting. 
And let me ask, what do you think about Gordas? I like your tales. There's an inner truth to them. It's an interesting to learn about him, no more or less. To be honest, I don't want to have anything to do with him. Interesting to learn about him. Gordas doesn't spare the minds of his clerics. Who told you that? I look to like to look that slander in the eye. You see, Kendra's sanity is quite a relative concept. Each of us is certain. Wait, hold on. Is Grotus supposed to be Cthulhu? Each of us is certain that he's the sanest creature in the world. Meanwhile, we periodically doubt the sanity of others. So what happens if two or three people claim that someone else is insane? Does it make it true? Perhaps the accusers have lost their minds themselves. The longer a cleric listens to the worst whispers of Grotus, the better he comprehends the essence of his designs. It's a hundred percent Cthulhu. Is it insanity? I, I honestly, it's just too much. You're funny, dwarf, and you have your peculiar peculiarities. But to go insane voluntarily, you should give it up before it's too late. Or ha, well, when you learn Grotus's divine plans, remember to tell me about them. I could use a good laugh. I would do the laugh a good one. Can't you understand? That's precisely what I want for it to be too late. Okay, thank you for the conversation. Alright, talk to Boken. Can I help you in any way? Well, since you're asking, there's a cave nearby. I used to pick berries in there, but the place has been overrun by spiders. Spider cave! The berries are red, look a lot like raspberries. Fang berries, I call them. I'd be real grateful if you gathered a basket of them and brought them back. Just be quick. If you do, they, sp they spoil quickly. The spiders in the cave are mean. Here, let me give you some alchemical fire. I also need a bucket of moon radishes. They're a rare and mysterious plant. I don't know where to find them, but I know that kobolds gather them and value them highly. Three portions for the berries and a purse full of coins for the radishes. What do you need them for? Okay, that's us. You won't tell me them? Okay. Just watch out, alright? Show me what you have. Remind me what you do here. Herbalist. Make potions and sell them. Okay. Time to sell some stuff. I can just click. That That is significantly more efficient. Did I get rid of the other composite longbow? Uh, sure. Is the rope useful? Hmm, I don't know. It is unclear. I will have Alchemist Fire now. Wand of Mage Armor. Of transmutations and bodily poisons. That seems like an expensive book. Hello, Oleg. Greetings! You certainly ruffled those villains' feathers. Well, anyway, new day, new troubles. Have you seen the fog? I've never seen anything like it before. Feels like witchcraft to me. I bet the stag lord's involved somehow. Rumors say he deals with all kinds of bad magic. Uh, I'm curious about his wares. Can I care? Can I buy anything yet? Useful. Thirteen hundred. There's all the stuff I sold him. Lesser reach mad meta magic rod. Oh, that's interesting. I'd like the bag of holding small. At some point. Nope, nothing useful. I can't sell that though. Uh, tell me about yourself. Why open it in this place? I just dislike the noise. Cities are complicated. Lots of people in each with their place on the shelf. On the shelf? What? 
Bow before this one, fear the other. Fear this other. What is this English? Hold on. What? I'm from Restoff. Cities are complicated. Lots of people and each with their place on the shelf. Bow before this one, fear this other. But bow, bow! That is why I'm having struggle struggling to read it. Bow before this one, fear this other. Don't do business with third. I'll be sure to be extra nice to the fourth. Villages are a little better. Everyone likes to stick their noses into every other each other's business. That's quite a task you've set yourself on. The Stag Lord has a fortress somewhere in the area, but only a few chosen from the most trusted of his rabble are ever invited. The location of the fortress is a heavily guarded secret, and with this fog hanging around, I imagine it would be even harder to find. So we could try to follow the trail of these bandits who attacked the post before. That, yeah, that, was, that makes sense. Came from the southwest the side of Thorn River. What else can you tell me about Stag Lord? Riders stolen lands from less than a year ago. That's interesting. He'd kill a person if they so much as disagree with him, and he never revealed his face. Those who've seen him up close reporting the same thing. Ugly scars over every inch of his skin, not covered by the clothes. Um, inner madness. Is he a demon? He might be a demon. Okay, I think that's everyone talked to. In theory, if I try and leave here... Oh. I see. Okay. Step, step, step. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and quit there. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope everyone has a good night. See ya.